like, here's the problem, right? My opinions have changed. Many of the skins on the old tier list will not be in the same place as the new one. That is a fact. Opinions are allowed to change over time. It is just, it is just the nature of things. Do not be upset. But we have a problem, all right? We have a problem with the fact that there are a lot of skins. There's a shitload of them, all right? And there are two types of skins. For some, some of you may not know this, but it's not just all war paints, right? You have the original decorated weapons, of which there are many, and then you have all of the war paints, and there are a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of them in one stream, because that's a shitload. So what I was thinking is I could split this up into two streams, where the first stream is all of the decorated weapons, and then the next stream is all of the war paints. I feel like that's the right way to do this, because there's also not enough real estate. There's all, like, And also, you can't really compare decorated weapons to war paints. They're very different. And unfortunately, there's also not enough real estate on this tier list to put everything on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys vote as to where I should start. I'm not going to... I don't even think there's like a poll feature on here, but I'm going to let you guys choose what I start with. Do I start with war paints? Or do I start with decorated weapons? And whichever one I see more is the one that I'm going to do first. De type either decorated weapons or war paints. I've, I'm kind of seeing a clean split down the middle, honestly. Uh, do I have a coin? I, do I have anything that resembles... I, I have a Fumo pin. I have, I have an unopened f official Fumo pin. I will flip the Fumo pin, and that will decide what we do first. Face up is decorated weapons, pin side is war paints, all right? And I will I will angle the camera down and, and keep my hands up so you can see, all right? Let's do, we're going to flip the Fubo pin. And it landed pin side down, pin side down, so we're doing war paints first, all right? We're doing war paints. War paints are up first. It was a flip. So we're doing war paints first, all right? That's where we're starting. Do I only, I, oh, ooh, okay, so I only have through winter 2020 saved. Oh, dear God. All right, so here we go. This is going to be fun. And we're going to go in chronological order, okay? We're going to go in chronological order for all the war paints. And uh, that's how it's going to go. Is there a reason why you decided to make this before the update comes out? I don't really know. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make a separate video talking about all of the content in the update anyways, undoubtedly, uh, like, inevitably, that's going to happen. So if you want my opinions on whatever new war paints that they're going to add, then you can just watch that whenever it happens. So, yeah, uh, and, and the update is soon. That's all I'll say. The update is soon. You will not have to wait much longer. But, not, it's, it's soon, all right? Soon.tm, and I assure you, verifiable information, but it is soon, all right? So let's start with Jungle Jackpot. Actually, no, I'm not going to start with Jungle Jackpot. I'm going to start with Decorated Hero. Also, uh, you know what I should probably do? I should probably describe the tiers. I feel like, I think, I think the tiers... Oh, I, listen, I do actually know, but I won't, I won't say more than that. Um, so here's the thing. I need to describe the tiers, right? Because whenever I don't describe the tiers, people get very upset. It's like, oh, why is this a D or not C? It's like, I gotta, I gotta describe it, all right? C tier. C tier is is middle of the road. C tier, C tier is like not good, not bad. It's just middle of the road, you know, passably acceptable skin. That's what C tier is. Like C tier is like just around the standard. Anything below it is bad. D tier is bad, right? It's not like terrible, but it's pretty shit. E tier is just absolutely abysmal. Why did they put this in game? Why did they make this? And then UE pain, the painful UE face tier, is the tier where it it nuke this from orbit. It is a fucking travesty. Why the hell was this ever placed in the game? It is disgusting. That that is this tier. B tier is good. B tier is great. B tier is like you know. B tier is great. It's good. It's a good skin. It's solid. I will not fault you for using this. A tier is oh, chef's, chef's kiss, good shit. A tier 
is amazing. A tier is good. It is, it, is, it, is, it is above B in every way. It is just amazing, right? S tier is, I mean, it's the best of the best. You can't get better than S. It is It is the cream of the crop, creme de la creme. Nothing can get beyond S tier. That's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to go. That is how my tiers are defined. Anything beyond that is wrong. All right, so this is the official tier list. Remastered, so it's doubly as important. Doubly is right. Doubly is good. Doubly is correct. It is the only correct tier list. And every other tier list you see about TF2 skins, period, is wrong. Only I'm correct. Only I'm the correct one, all right? Only me. Only my opinions are right. Don't you fucking forget that. And as a disclaimer, I need to say that this is a joke. I'm not being serious because someone will undoubtedly clip this and say, oh, he's got his head up his ass. He thinks his opinions are the best. No, it's a fucking joke. Chill out. Let's get going. Right off the bat, Civic Duty Mark II. This is like your baseline, middle of the road, just like a solid, decent, good war paint. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. This is just like a simple, team-colored... It's just, you know, and this is like, this is like the standard, right? This is the standard. This is a C tier, not good, not bad, middle of the road, C tier, decent, like a piece of white bread, no butter, just like a piece of white bread. And then thank you for the two donations. And I missed another word, like a dollar, dollar. Thank you from, I can't even pronounce that, but thank you. Uh, awesome. So thank you for those, by the way, I appreciate that. And I am an S -t I am S tier YouTuber. It's S for shit, maybe. But, uh, okay, I need to, like, move some shit. Also, why is my webcam, like, not in an optimal position here? Let me just, like, angle this down a little bit. Is that better? Closer? There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. I feel like it's a good B. I don't think, like, I've always used the Civic Duty skins as, like, my baseline. I've always used Civic Duty as a baseline. I'm gonna keep it at C. Like, further to the left is high, for, and further to the right is low. So it's, like, high, high C tier. All right, high C tier. Do I work out and am I ripped? I mean, I mean, I'm 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 fit. I'm lean. I'm not like jacked by any means, but I I, I keep myself in shape. You know, got to keep the you know. I have. Are my abs even visible anymore? I've, I've I've gained a little bit of weight, but I mean, you know, there's there's something there. I got to angle angle the light right. You know, we got we got a firm tummy. We got we got a firm we got a firm belly. You know. I work out, but I'm not, like, jacked by any means. Anyway. I'm gonna keep it in C. I think C tier is appropriate for it. He's pulling his cock out! <laughs> He's pulling his cock out! He's doing it again! Well, I gotta put the YouTube chat above. Angle you there. There we go, that's better. Now, now the chat's not getting clipped off. He's pulling his cock out! Uh, okay, so Civil Servant Mark II, I'm gonna put this also in C tier, but like it's marked, it's like the lower end of C tier. It's, it belongs, it belongs down here. I'm a much bigger fan of the blue variant than I am the red. I really don't like the roof metal slat tiling. It's just eh, it's just eh. It's not bad. It's just like it's lower, lower C tier is is where I think it belongs. All right, that's just me. Show feet? No. Not doing that. Ugh. Not doing that. You guys are, like, really obsessed with my figure. Chill out. So a man asked a question, and I simply provided an answer. Uh, Autumn Mark II. Autumn Mark II? I, am, I don't want to put this in... I'll, I'll put this at low B tier. I'll put it in low B tier. Only B... I have to get my game going, because I have to, like, justify my positions here. I'm going to put Autumn Mark II in, like, the lowest end of B tier only because you can get some really cool patterns. You can get some really sick patterns with Autumn Mark II, and I'll show you. You can get, like, some, like, you get, like, the cool gradients on there, you know, because it has, like, that gradient texture, so you can get, like, pink and orange or what have you. So, yeah, I'm going to say low B tier for it, for sure. I and mean, I'm going to keep it there. If my game would fire up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's see if this behaves. It did. Nice. Uh, backpack. War paints. And I want to justify my position here with Autumn Mark II, alright? So the thing about Autumn Mark II is that it has this texture down here, which actually plays off of a gradient, right? And so if you get a good seed... If you get a good seed... Come on! Give me a good seed. Give me one that's orange or pink, please. Oh, dude, the game is fucking me hard! Come on, come on, 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. I I trust me it's there. Fuck! I cl I missed it. Son of a bitch. Anyways, you can get you can get different seeds that you can you can get different colors on it, right? So like you can get orange. There see there it was. You can get pinks, you can get oranges. There's a lot of variety in the skin, right? So it's not like always that shit brown color. You can get orange, you can get pink. There's a lot of really nice seeds on Autumn Mark II that can generate a lot of neat patterns. So I'm gonna put this in low B here, simply because of the variety you can get off of it, and the colors can look really nice if you get a good seed. I like that. It's like a deep reddish brown. I'm a fan of this one. So I'm gonna say low B. Low B tier. Could kill you in unarmed combat. What? Is, don't don't start spreading rumors about me. Also, it is a good cheap strange, but I'm mostly I'm. And listen, I will also say this tier list is not strictly visual. It's not strictly visual based, but it's mostly visual based, right? Uh, Carpet Bomber Mark II. I just don't like this one, man. It's it's unfortunate that the main texture on Carpet Bomber Mark II is so busy. It's really, it's just really noisy. It only looks good, funnily enough, on the original decorated weapon that is the Sticky Bomb Launcher, but as soon as you try to put it on anything else, it just looks like a hot mess. Actually, I'm going to bump it down to C real quick, but I'm going to like show you what I'm talking about. So like, you look at Carpet Bomber Mark II, it's just, it's so busy. Look at this. It's super noisy, and it just, it looks really bad when it's scaled down. The original texture is scaled up, and it looks quite good. So, like, I'm see if I can find, like, even on, like, the larger surface area weapon models, it's it's just so, look at that, it's way too busy. It looks way better on the original. You see how the texture is scaled up here? It looks more like camo, and you can kind of faintly make out the sticky bombs. But then you look at Carpet Bomber Mark II, and then you look at it scaled, it's been scaled down significantly. So if you go to the sticky bomb launcher, wrong list. If you go to the sticky bomb launcher, where are you? Can't read. See, it's been scaled down by a significant degree, and it's very, very noisy. Very noisy. If you keep spamming the same thing in my chat, I am going to get rid of you. So, bye. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to bump this down. I'm going to say, like, probably lower end of C tier. Marginally better than Civic Duty, Civil Servant, whichever one this one's called. I'm going to put it, like, right here. Give me, uh, like, if, if I knew how to, like, make you, can I make you an administrator? You can't, you can't, can I do that? All right, you are you are now an administrator, Victor. Hello. So yeah, we're gonna put this at C. We'll we'll put that at C tier. Also, hello, Richter. Uh, next, Forest Fire Mark II. Dog shit. This is one of the ugliest skins in the game, and I almost never see it. It's like it's like it's probably like low D. -t. It's not quite E territory, but it's it's definitely D. It's yeah, it's 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 baby puke for sure. It's like lower. No, I'm gonna put this in the middle. This, this, like, defines D tier. This, de like, Forest Fire Mark II defines D tier. It's just really, it's not good. It's not visually pleasing in any way. I understand it's meant to be, like, this kind of arid camo pattern, but it just does not look good. Even for, like, a militarized camo skin, it's just, ah, uh, it, it, it looks just really bad. <laughs> I... Uh, it's it's mostly the color. Like if it was like a little more saturated, maybe. But yeah, it just yeah, it looks like vomit. It looks like vomit. It doesn't. What what more needs to be said about that one? Uh, Night Out Mark II is solid solid B tier. It's like middle of B tier. It's just good. Black skins look really nice in TF2 when they're not super saturated, and the orange detailing on Night Owl Mark II looks really good on a lot of, like, look at that. I'm a big fan of this geometric pattern. When you get more of the geometric pattern, it looks really good. Less of the camo, more of the geometric, looks kick-ass. And the orange on here, nice little embellishments. It's a, it's a very good skin. Solid B tier. Yes, the stream will be archived and will be up on my second channel if you cannot watch the entire thing. No worries. Like, another one, like, you get, like, like I just, I love, listen, orange is my favorite color. Orange is my favorite color. So anything that's going to have orange on it that looks nice, I'm going to be heavily biased towards. I will acknowledge my bias. 
but yeah, Night Owl Mark II looks just really, really, really good. I love this skin. It is super solid, easy, easy B tier. Easy B tier. What is, can I shrink this window down? Yeah, we'll put you there. We'll put you here. There we go. I really need a third monitor. If I had a third monitor, my life would be so much easier. <laughs> like, I like how people are asking me about war paints that I have not looked at yet. Don't worry. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. Uh, next, Plaid Podshotter Mark II. This one's also just good. It's like a, it's like a slightly more enriched Civic Duty. I'm going to put it. It's, it's B. You know, I like the colors on this. The colors, it's like, it's just a really good, solid team colored skin. Slightly better than I would say uh, Civic Duty. I like this one. So, I've already forgotten the name of it. Plaid Podshotter. Jesus. Brain, what are you doing? Yeah, and I like the black on it too. When you get larger areas of the black, it just looks good. It's, it's the scotch tape skin. Scotch tape skin. So I'm going to say, you know, it's a solid B tier. I like this one. I'm also partial to the blue. The blue looks really good. So we're going to, we're going to say, we're going to say B, like low B. It's, it's a little bit above, a little bit above autumn, like right there. A little bit above. A little bit. Looks like a Walmart shirt. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's also great because you can put it on a bunch of other demo man weapons and get like a full Scottish demo man loadout. And what's also nice is that originally it was on the SMG, which made no sense. Why would you put a plaid pattern on something that isn't a demo man weapon? But now you can have it on many demo man weapons. So good shit. Woodland Warrior Mark II is kind of crap. Uh, it suffers from the same problem where it's just the colors really leave something to be desired. The patterns are a lot better than Forest Fire, but it's it's definitely like the highest of D tier. It's almost good, but it just 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 a little a little off, a little off. Like the camo looks fine, but I just, the colors really leave something to be desired. There's something about green. There's something about green that just doesn't fit inside of TF2. There's not a lot of grassy maps. There's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of greenery, right? And except in the form of like trees and the occasional shrub or something. There's not a lot of grassy maps. Like in the original design and aesthetic of TF2, there is no green. It's all concrete, it's all dirt, it's all stone. And then as more community-made stuff started making its way into the game, you get maps like Swiftwater and what have you that have green on them. But um, it just, it doesn't quite mesh with like, it just doesn't really quite, it doesn't look great. Like, green can look good, but these greens don't look that great. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Greens can work, but not these. I, I just don't, not a fan. But I will admit, this one is way better than, I'm going to put you a little lower, because this is not, it's like slightly off of middle of seat here. But that's where you belong. Uh, Woodsy Widowmaker Mark II is bad. I, this one is, it's like, it's, it's like right next to Willen Warrior. Like the camo pattern is fine, but it's it's the same baby shit green. It's, it's just not good. <laughs> I just don't like the baby shit green. Yeah, it, it is just a worse Night Owl. It uses the same camo texture, except with shit green instead of the nice geometric pattern and the black. And it's just, I, it doesn't look good on most things. Like maybe, maybe you can make an argument for certain for certain weapon models but it's 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 just the baby shit green i'm it's just it does it does not look good i don't like it yeah it's 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 baby shit green the green really the green really hurts it i think yeah it's like barf green not not a fan uh wrapped reviver mark 2 i am going to it's my first a tier i'm sorry i i know many people don't like this skin but i love this skin so much it's a kick-ass desert camo pattern. It's low A tier. It's a kick-ass desert camo pattern with the healing crosses. It's got really nice team colorization. It's got like a nice detailed camo texture that's nicely balanced out by two solid patterns. It just looks, oh, I like, look at that. It's just so good. It looks so good. It looks really good on, like, for some reason, the revolver looks really good with the, um, with, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at the blue. Oh, I love this skin. It's it's low, low A tier. Low A tier. I love this skin so much. 
What's also great is you can get it on other medic weapons and make a full healing like I like the minigun too. The minigun looks really good. Oh, I like the blue a lot. The blue, it's just nice. I like the skin so much. It just it looks good on most weapon models as well. Yeah. A A tier. A tier, but low, 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 low A tier. Like low A tier. That's where it belongs. Not high, not mid, low. All right. Uh, okay, that takes care of the decorated hero collection. Now we go on to the contract killer. We first start off with Backwoods Boomstick Mark II, and we are right back in the puke green colors, and the camo just, it doesn't look very good. I think I'm gonna do this, though. This, this is, this is the order. Backwoods Boomstick is, is the lowest. It's just so noisy. It's a really noisy texture with fairly unappealing puke green colors. It just, ah, uh, like, I don't mind a busy texture when it's something like Woodsy Widowmaker, you know, the, the black here, the one that's on Night Out. If it's like, you know, got enough of the muted colors, like the grays and the blacks, don't make it look terrible. But the green, it's just the nasty puke. Like, there are other green war paints we'll get to later that look pretty good. But just this puke green color it does not look good. It just, it's, ah, not a fan. We're doing war paints first because that's what the coin flip landed on. We'll do decorated weapons on Friday or maybe tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Uh, next up, bovine blazemaker cow. Touch the cow. Do it now. A tier. Sorry, I don't care what you say. I'm putting this in the middle of A tier. I like the cow skin. You can go fuck yourself if you think otherwise. I like this one. It's great. It's it just looks good on many things. Bovine blazemaker. So fucking good. It's the cow skin. You can have many a thing. Like, look, look at the minigun. Yes. A tier. Not S. A tier. Touch the cow. Do it now. I love this skin so much. It's like, it's like peak TF2 is the fucking cow skin. It looks really nice. Like, like rawhide cow leather. It is the cow skin. It's not, it's, it's, it's also nice because this war paint perfectly exemplifies how someone should handle white in TF2. Not full-on hyper-saturated white, but a nice, muted, lowly saturated white that's balanced out by enough dark color so it's not super bright and in your face. And the nice Holstein, Holstein cow pattern isn't dense, densely packed, right? It's just packed enough where it's not really super busy and noisy. It looks really, really good. It is a really solid skin. I love this one to death. And getting this one in Strange Factory New is ridiculously expensive. Borderline impossible. But solid A tier, middle of the A, middle, middle of the road A, and fuck off with your femboy shit. It is women only in this house. No femboy shit. Women only. With the big cow titties. That's why this is an A tier. <laughs> Someone's gonna clip that and get mad on Twitter, I'm sure. Let's see. Uh, next up, we have Dead Reckoner Mark II. Not a fan of this one. I just, I don't, this is pretty, this is also D tier. I just, I've never been a fan of this skin. Like, let me say this. The original Dead Reckoner skin looks way better than the Mark II war paint. Why? Because the white has really small embellishments on the overall skin. But as soon as they added the white texture on here, it looks so bad it's it the white and the black contrast decently well but then they throw the yellow in there it's just not a good blend of colors black white and yellow like this just look terrible like if it was like a gold yellow then that might work a little bit better like if it had like a nice shine to it but this just it's too much white the white does not work unless you have other things breaking it up like bovine blazemaker but solid white just does not look good in tf2 unless you have something you know, mixing it up a little bit. On some weapons, you can get away with it, like where the white is only on the smaller details. It doesn't look terrible. But this texture really just didn't look that great in the first place, and it only looked kind of decent on the revolver. Eh, it just... It's all just not like gridded gridded sticker patterns tend to fall very short in TF2, so I'm going to keep this. It's, it's D tier, like down here. With the rest of these, kind of, it's in this area. We're gonna run out of real estate, but it, it's it's in this area. It doesn't look finished. What's actually interesting about this skin is, uh, you guys may remember the um, you guys may remember the leak that happened a while ago, where all those valve files got leaked out. 
if you go into those files, you can actually see all of the all of the texture like Photoshop files from the original waves of skins and Dead Reckoners in there. And there's actually like five or six different versions in the layers of that Photoshop file where they were like going through this iterative process of like making the Dead Reckoner skin. Whereas like first it was White Skull. Like it was originally white. The skulls were originally white and that looked way better. And then they made them yellow for some reason. And then they added like the one with the TF2 hat and they added the one with the eyeball. Originally, it was like this nice, like, white skull and crossbones, which looked way nicer, but then they made it piss yellow, and it just kind of killed the skin. So, a little bit of a bummer. Let's see. Now we have Ironwood Mark II. Hello? There you go. There we go. Ironwood Mark II, solid B tier. This is one of those, like, really nice, clean, def like, definitive TF2 skins. It's, it's like, down here. I'm gonna put it, like lower lower b tier it's just one of those skins that just looks really good on most things let me pull you up ironwood 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 mark ii it's just a really nice simple clean skin that looks good on most things it's just, it's not ugly it's not bad but it, it's just good definitely above c tier like look at that when you, this is a brass texture, by the way. When you get more of the brass texture, oh yeah, it looks really, really good. Black box definitely leaves something to be desired, but the ones that have more of the gold detailing, like the fucking reserve shooter, look at that shit, rescue ranger. Oh, I love, look, like, look at the fucking brass spine going down the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it a, a little higher. I'm gonna put it above Night Owl Mark II, but only a little bit, only just. Like, high, high mid, high mid B tier. Uh, okay, controversial opinion. Macabre Web, I, I don't like these skins. I really am not a fan of the stripes juxtaposed against the wood, juxtaposed against the spider web. You have three very different textures all mishmashed against each other. And it just doesn't look all that good. I like the colors. The purple looks good. The gradient texture looks good. But on most weapon models, it just really leaves something to be desired. I'm going to put it down here. It's definitely better than all of these. I'm going to keep it in C tier, but it's like lower C tier. Kind of in this area, for sure. It's not D. It's not a bad skin, all right? It's not, it's not in this territory by any means. But it's definitely not, it's definitely not great. But it's not good. It's just like it's, it's teetering on being in, in D tier, all right? That's where it belongs. Like, like, if they had just done the cobwebs, here's the thing, right? Like, if we go to, if we go to it, if we go to Macabre Web, right? Like, if we go to Macabre Web, Mark II, here's what they should have done. They should have just done the wood and the cobwebs, the cobwebs and the stripes, the stripes and the wood, but not all three. When you throw all three together, it makes for a very, very busy skin. And honestly... Maybe if they just got rid of the cobwebs, it would look a lot better. But the, the spider webs make it look a little... It's a, it's a bit much. Again, certain weapon models don't look terrible. Like, it's not the worst, but it's just... Ah, it's got too much going on. Too much going on. And yeah, furry skin, femboy sock skin, yada yada. Uh, Mass Mender Mark II. I'm kind of split on this one. On one hand... I like the colors, I like the camo pattern textures on this one, it looks fairly decent on most weapon models, but at the same time, it's just not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's definitely better, in my opinion, than all of these. It's like just a hair above Macabre Web Mark II, it belongs in C tier, I will say. Like, on cert, like, oh, let me go to it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going back and forth between each one, it's just, it's just an inevitability. So you go to Mass Mender Mark II. I, it looks... Okay, I think I found the problem. It kind of looks like a toy. It, it looks a little bit like a toy. But on certain weapon models, like, I think the degreaser is one of them that I'm kind of partial towards. Like, that looks pretty... <clears throat> excuse me, voice crack. That looks pretty good. You get more of the solid gray in there. You get more of the golden gray. It helps balance out the kind of... Not... It, it's like charred camo pad it's like that charred kind of burnt wood it's not it's not burnt wood but it's just eh eh it's just, eh it's it's mid to low low c tier belongs down here 
Yeah, the main texture of like the camo, camo texture, it does leave something to be desired. I think it just, I think what they should have done is they should have matched the gray or the gold or the, or the, or this gray in the main texture. So it kind of helps bring it all together. But, um, eh. Cartoonish video game weapon looks like a toy. Here's the thing, right? You want to match the stylization of the game. You want to keep it looking like a TF2 weapon. You don't want it looking like a child's toy that was pulled out of a McDonald's Happy Meal. And there are a lot of war paints on the workshop right now that were specifically designed to look like squirt guns. And it's like, it, it looks weird and doesn't really fit in TF2. Like a weapon is supposed to look like a weapon no matter how the game is stylized. And if it looks like a toy, it's like, eh. And like, just because a game is cartoony doesn't necessarily mean that it, it's okay if something looks like a toy. Or just because a game is cartoony that you can shove other cartoony wacky shit in it. TF2 has a certain set tone and style that I believe should be adhered to, if not loosely, at least. And if things, something looks like a toy, it's like, it just doesn't really fit the game that well. So, that's just me. Nutcracker Mark II. Ah, let's see. It's like down here. This one's okay. It's, it's made to look like a squirrel carrying an acorn. It looks fairly decent on most weapon models. It's another just kind of good skin. It's not great. It's just good. I still think a hair below Civic Duty. But it's still just like a decent, decent, good skin. It's not bad. It's just okay, right? And same goes for Small Town Bring Down. I am actually a bigger fan of Small Town Bring Down Mark II than I am of Civic Duty. If I were to go with a team colored war paint, I'm going to pick Small Town Bring Down over Civic Duty any day. I just like this one more. The reason why I like this one more is because you get more of the imperfections on here, like the painterly style. And that kind of blends a bit better with TF2 stylization. So let me go to Small Town Bring Down here. Like, you get more of like the modeled, you know, bits and bobs. You get more like those gradient, gradient swipes and scratches and things like that. It looks more worn, right? That's why I like this one a bit more. This one. Then we go to something like Civic Duty. Right? You get less of that. The textures are a bit flatter. There's not a lot of stuff breaking up the solid colors. That's why I like Small Town Bring Down just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You say that makes the winger look a hundred looks a hundred times better. Let's see. Small Town Bring Down on the winger. Elemental P Q R S. Small Town Bring Down. Put it on the winger. I was told to put it on the winger, so I will do so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, look at that. That looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah. Small Town Bring Down is objectively better than Civic Duty, period. Do you think Valve will add some of the CSGO skin adaptations into TF2? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm not sure what you mean by that. But um, Valve does tend to put things into TF2 that come from CSGO and, of course, vice versa. Mostly vice versa. But yeah, C tier, solid. Uh, okay, that takes care of the contract campaigner, and now we go into Jungle Jackpot. And let us begin with Anodized Aloha. I like this one, not necessarily because it's orange, but, um, but because, you know, it's orange, right? Like, if you're going to do a gridded sticker pattern like this one, this is how you want to handle it. You want to have things overlapping. You don't want it to be kind of spaced out over a solid color. You want just enough stuff going on where it doesn't look like a simple, you know, like like the cover of a, a, a schoolgirl's notebook or something, right? So we go to Anodized Aloha. Like, and also you can get, like, a nice variety of colors with that orange gradient. So you can get, like, really nice bright oranges in certain weapon models. It's it's just another really good skin. I, this one's also very underrated, you know. Very... What makes this the remastered one? Because my opinions on many war paints have heavily changed. And people are going to get very mad. Because, like, people still like to point out that I put... That I rated a war paint like Hell Driver very highly three years ago. And they're like... Oh, well, your opinion on the war paints and art style are invalid because you rated this green war paint really high and you say neon green colors don't belong in TF2. My opinions have changed. That's why I'm doing this. But Anodized Aloha is very good. I like this one. 
very underrated. A nice, simple, clean skin. When you get larger blotches of the or larger patches of the gray and the gradient, it just makes for a really simple skin, and it looks good. You know, colors match the, the style of TF2. Good texture work. It's just, it's just nice. It's just nice. And yeah, argue it's better than Autumn Mark II because it doesn't have heavily, it doesn't heavily rely on the gradient to carry it. And I agree, and that's why I have rated it higher than Autumn Mark II. Bamboo brushed is absolute shit. Why? Why did they add this one? They somehow they managed to add a war paint that is worse than Forest Fire Mark II. I don't think I've ever seen this skin once in game, aside from the fact it was unusual. It's it's just it's really bad. This this, this war paint defines E tier. Why the fuck did they make this? I understand that they were trying to like make a case themed after the you know mercenary park but this is just oh it, it is not a good skin it's just really just <sighs> need I, need i say more also this is another one croc dusted is just a terrible skin it's, it's crocodiles guys yeah look one of them's pink and one of them's got a hat it, why <sighs> Just really mediocre. And it's also the, the main texture is so busy. The crocodiles are spaced too closely together. It's just an eyesore. Another E tier skin. Why the fuck did they add this? No one uses this. Like you can't you can't even make decent loadouts out of this one. It doesn't match anything. Ugh. It it's just really bad. Shit skin, E tier, down here. Lower than bamboo brushed, I would say, for sure. Yeah, this like yeah. The best thing about Croc Dusted, as you pointed out, sir, is the sand texture is probably the best thing. Like, thing is, if you're gonna make like a crocodile loadout for sniper, just use like a different green camo skin that would look way better. Like, you could use any of these, any of these three, or even Forest Fire, and you get like a green to match like with the rest of his crocodile cosmetics. This just would just stick out like an ugly blue sore thumb, right? So you go to Croc Dusted, put it on the sniper rifle. <laughs> so bad. Oh, it's it's so gross. Like <laughs> the crocodiles are so small you can't even see them. No, you got the pink one. You got the rare wacky sticker, guys. Makes it worth it. Eh. Uh leopard printed. I'm leopard printed is, as the kids say, very mid. I'm not a big fan of this one. I'm actually a much bigger fan of Tiger Striped because Tiger Stripes look a little bit better than the Leopard Print. The thing about the Leopard skin is that the spots are a bit too numerous and they're a bit too closely packed together. So the texture is a little bit busy. They both utilize the same gradients. They both utilize all the same colors and the other three textures are exactly the same in every way possible. But the Tiger Stripes just look better. So... Leopard printed is like a low C tier. You're kind of down here. I'm going to rate you higher than... Ma uh, no, I'm going to rate you lower than Mass Mender. But you're down here. Whereas Tiger buffed, rather. Leopard printed and Tiger buffed. I'll put the Tiger one up here. I'm going to rate it like in... It's in the neighborhood of... It's in the neighborhood of Anodized Aloha. Is it better than... Mm, no. Put it down here. I'm going to say Plaid Pod Shotter is better. But you're still good. But you're just like lower, lower end of B tier. Right here, I will say. The only reason, and you, you bring up a very good point, Coley Ian, I ain't lying, is you can get a white pattern. So if you go to Tiger Buffed, right? Tiger Buffed, you get a good seed. You, you can get black Tiger Stripes, you can get white Tiger Stripes. And that tends to look really freaking cool. So there we go. You get a white Tiger pattern, ooh, that looks really nice. But most of the other colors, I mean, they're okay. It's just an okay skin, you know? You can get some really neat... You can get, like, an all-black, too, on the wood crate. So you can get you can get some really neat... There's a nice variety of patterns here. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to say this one is good, but then you go to leopard printed, right? Leopard printed, leopard printed. Yeah, it's, it's the main texture. It's just too busy. It's not nearly as appealing as the stripes are. Yeah, it, it really is the spots. Stripes are better, I will say. Stripes are better. I lied. I'm gonna put you higher than Mass Mender. You're kind of actually no. I'll put you up here. Yeah, I lied. You're up here. That's better. Okay, here we go. Macaw masked. 
this is a war paint that I praised very highly before because personally, I think having a lot of really cool color patterns on this one is a really neat thing. It's the same idea that's used for, again, Tiger Buff, Leopard Printed, and others that utilize some kind of a gradient. The only problem with this one that is a flaw with this skin is you can get something that's all blue or all red, and that fucks with team recognition. And that's a really big problem, especially if it's something on, like, a weapon model. I'm going to put it in B tier at the moment, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So, you go to Macaw Masked, you know, and you can get something that is, like, all blue. Oh, oh we, we, we just randomly rolled a white gem. Awesome. Um, but if you go to something like the Minigun, which really exemplifies this more. Minigun. You can get something that's mostly blue, and if you're carrying this on red team, and then on certain angles, you're not going to be able to tell what team this person's on. And then if you combine that with other cosmetics that are dyed a myriad of colors, it's just going to make team recognition really fucking hard, and it's very important to be able to tell what team someone's on at a moment's glance, otherwise that negatively detracts from gameplay. And when you design things for this game, you need to not make items that negatively detract from the key design elements that define the gameplay, like team colorization, class silhouettes, and so on. And this is an example of a skin that can do that, because you can get all red or all blue patterns, right? And for the most part, you get a mix of colors, and when you mix red and blue together onto the same skin, it's a little bit less of a problem. But if you get something that's like all red, let me see if I can find one, but if I can roll one that's all red, it might take a minute because it's a fairly rare pattern to get. And hopefully I don't skip it, because I probably will, because I click too fast. Give me an all red or orange, orange gem, red gem, whatever you want to call it. Give me one so I can show this as an example. Oh, more white. So you get like red, white, and blue, which is really cool. Oh, someone gave me a seed. Alright. Someone gave me a seed. This is yellow. This is like, you know, a nice yellow-orange color. Like, see, so you get like a nice mix of colors here. It's a less of an issue. But, um, it's just... Yeah, it, it's, it can be too busy and too noisy, but it still looks really good depending on the seed. So I'm gonna put it, like, in the B tier. It's probably, like, down here. I'm gonna put it down here. It's in this... It's good. It's in this territory. Uh, Banana Peeled. As the kids say, mid. It's... Funny, haha, banana, we get it, the Yeti is a monkey, and he eats bananas. It doesn't look bad. I like the custom wear on this one, where the banana looks more bruised. It's not ugly. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just middle of the road, not... It's not amazing, but it's not... It's inoffensive. It's a fairly inoffensive skin. I think it's okay. It's like a fun... It's like, it's just enough into wacky territory, but it still looks like a weapon skin, where it's not complete shit. So it's right in the middle of the road. We'll say C tier for this one. Right around here. Right in the middle of C tier. Final answer. Uh, okay. Park Pigmented. I struggle with this one a lot. Because I like white skins. I think we need more of them in the game. They can look really good. And Park Pigmented is one of the few war paints that gets a mostly white skin correct and it looks really damn good the only thing i despise about this one about park pigmented is the sticker i just i get it it's themed after the update what have you but it just it looks really really good it looks so good the color scheme is phenomenal the white looks awesome it's it's got that nice painterly detailing on there we have like the darker swipes and gradients breaking up the colors a lot it just looks really fucking good on most weapon models. It's just this fucking sticker. It's just this fucking sticker that I hate. And it takes up so much real estate on so many weapon models, and it looks bad. And I fucking hate it. Why is this necessary? I get why it... I, I, I mean, I get it. And to me, the only thing keeping this out of A tier is the sticker. That's just me. Yes, I get it. It gives it, like, it, it would look bland without it. It's meant to be like, hey, you know, this is the Yeti Park skin. It's a, it's a play on Jurassic Park. I get it. But it's just, aesthetically, it's just too much real estate. I'm not a fan. 
I'm not, I'm not a fan of the fucking sticker, but it looks really fucking good. I want to give it A tier. My like every fiber of my being screams, put this in A tier. But it's like I can't, I cannot put it in A tier. It's it, listen, this war paint to me is like a salad, like a good Caesar salad. You got the nice romaine lettuce, fresh, freshly washed, slightly cool. You got the really good high grade Parmesan cheese. You got the chicken. You got the Caesar dressing. It is the perfect salad. It is an A-tier delicious salad. I want to just tear into this. The fresh chicken, also cool, not hot, but hot chicken on a cold Caesar salad. You're a demon. You must be exercised and sent to the fiery pits of hell. Fuck you if you do that. You have this perfect Caesar salad, and then you put a cherry tomato on it. You put a fucking cherry tomato, a nice big fat one, in the middle of my chicken Caesar salad, and it ruins the entire thing. I can pick it off, but if I'm presented my chicken Caesar salad with one cherry tomato right in the middle, I'm going to kick your ass. It's, it's, I will beat you to death. Sorry. I fucking hate it. Why, why would you ruin a perfectly good product by putting a cherry tomato on it? And that's what that sticker is. The sticker here is the cherry tomato on my chicken Caesar salad. That's it. Uh, Pina Polished is just an objectively worse banana peeled. I don't like the pineapple texture. It's, it's, it's a little bit too much. Like this, like the textures here are simple enough where it kind of like retains the air of still looking like a weapon, but this one can look really ugly at higher wares and it just doesn't look nearly as good. So if you're in C tier, I'm going to put Pina Polished kind of down in this territory like in the in the d's it's in the upper d area it's not good enough to be in c just saying but it's definitely like definitely down here in the d territory right right about there it's pretty bad like like we'll just i'll just show you right pina polished yeah it's the fucking pineapple texture man it just looks really gross and busy like the the, the pineapple skin texture i should i should say and then you get higher wares on it. It just doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't look. It doesn't look very good. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. Not. Not a fan. I'm, and it's. It's. It's a D tier. Not. Not E. But D. Uh, sax waxed. A. Sorry. Sax wax is an A tier skin, and let me show you why. Because it is kick ass leather and fabric look awesome on tf2 weapon on tf2 weapon models i will stand by this i understand it's saxton hale's fucking skin but it looks really good like it's just it's just such a clean fucking skin dude it looks so good like oh we got the nipple the nipple is the only thing i fucking hate about it but i love this skin it looked like the i have it on a tomislav where are you like look at that it's so fucking clean. It just oh, it looks so good. I think the sticky bomb launch is another good, another good one. Hold on. Like, look at that. Fuck yeah, dude. That's such a good skin. Oh, yeah, I like this one a lot. The fact it is Saxton Hale's flesh is a little bit gross. If you can get, if you can mentally get yourself past that and not think about it being a skin, like literal skin, you know, some fucking you know Hannibal Lecter shit. Then it's okay. Someone said grenade launcher. <laughs> the fucking nipple. Like, let me, can we get like a non a non nip pattern? There we go. Just just sack. It looks like a finger. <laughs> this looks like a finger. <laughs> oh Christ! I like this one. If you replace the skin with black, how would it look? It would look a lot better. Like if this was a black texture instead of like you know human skin. Probably better. Upper B. I can't, I can't rate it higher than Park Pigmented, sorry. I'll bump it down. I can't rate it higher than Park Pigmented. If I put Park Pigmented in Upper B, it's a stage below. It's stage below. I'll reserve A for better skins. Yeti coated. Utter shit. I fucking hate this skin. It's gross. I, I, it's like, a, it's the funny, wacky gag skin that looks like a purple ball sack. I, I don't, I, I will never understand the appeal of this one. And it's, it's, it's like, it's, which, what, what is worse? Croc dusted or this one? I can't decide. Yeah, it's ugly. It is an ugly skin that just does not look good on anything. You can't make loadouts with it. You can do like a meme set with the heavy Yeti uh, cosmetics, but it's just, 
Ah, it's just so, it's just so bad. It's so bad. I don't like this one at all. It's not even furry bait, because it's got, like, eyeballs on it. You say croc is worse? Is it? Is it worse? Can I? Yeah, I'll say croc is worse. Because uh, I'll put it above these. At least with at least with Yeti coated, there's like an air of uniqueness about it. You know, like they tried with this one. Yeah, it's the Yeti, but it's it's just it just it's not really appropriate for a TF2 skin. It just yeah, not no bueno, no bueno. I would say cyan clashes more than dulled purple. I agree. I will agree with that. So we'll we'll keep we'll keep this rating down here. We'll keep that rating down there. Uh, okay, next up is the Infernal Reward. Oh, I speak Spanish. No, bueno. I I speak one and a half or one and a quarter languages. Like if if I'm in a room and someone is speaking Spanish, I can pick up enough to understand what they're saying, but I can't speak it enough. Like if you drop me in the middle of Mexico, I could probably survive, but um, I'm not fluent in Spanish by any means. Lechuga, that is just lettuce. Uh, first up, from the Infernal Reward Collection, Donde Style Banya. <laughs> Where's your bathroom? I know where it is. Uh, first up is Bankrolled. Really just not that good of a skin. It kind of suffers from the same problem as these green ones down here, where the green is really not all that appealing, and the main texture is just really busy. It's not very good, and I like I like the weapon models that get that get more of the gray on them, but the main money pattern is just not it's just too busy. It doesn't look very good at all. Bankrolled. Yeah, it's it's just too busy. Like the lines don't have enough contrast on them, so you can like you know make out those finer details. And even if the contrast was higher, it would just be way too busy of a skin. It just does not look very good. Like, what they could have done instead is, like, they could have made, like, a green paper skin where it's, like, the whole thing is the dollar bill and not a bunch of dollar bills overlapping each other in a sticker bomb format. Sticker bomb war paints are incredibly difficult to make good, to look to make look good in TF2. They're very difficult to, like, finagle into the game and have them still look appealing. This is one of those failures where it's just not... It's just not good. And I feel like they could have done something more interesting with this gray. Like, if this gray was, like, darker or even black, then that would have made it look a lot better. Like, you want enough contrast on your skins where some parts of the weapon model pop, but nothing really pops here. It all kind of just meshes and blends together. It's just... It's not good. It's a very, very... I'll put it, like, lower D tier, kind of, like, around here. Ah, uh, no, we'll leave it in this territory. Nothing is quite near... Forest Fire Mark 2 just yet. Uh, Bloom Buffed. Bloom Buffed is okay. I mean, it's just... It's not amazing. It's not an amazing skin. It's not a good skin. It's not like a terrible skin. It's just kind of middle of the road. It's middle of the road C tier. It's kind of in the upper C tier territory. I will say it's better than Leopard Printed. I It's better than Nutcracker? Probably not. Probably like right around here. I'm going to say right around here. It's okay. It's plain, it's simple, it's a nice team-colored skin, it's got the, the hibiscus flowers on it. You can make a myriad of, you know, summertime loadouts with it for a variety of classes, you know, it's it's just okay. It's just okay. I love you, Zesty. I love you too, Random Citizen. Thank you, Anon. You are too kind. Could use a third texture? Maybe it could. Maybe a third solid color to help break it up, maybe something darker like black? Maybe or gray something, or maybe or maybe even like another team color of like dark red or dark blue could look good, but um yeah it just it it it's not amazing. Wood planks maybe could yeah maybe wood planks would help kind of spice things up a little bit. Like if they took the bamboo texture here and put it with bloom buffed, that could be interesting maybe. Uh, Bonk Varnished is really shit. Like, holy fuck. Why did they think adding this was a good idea? It is so unbelievably saturated. Who, who, who let this get past the vetting process? Yeah, it looks like a McDonald's toy. This makes your weapons look like a McDonald's toy. And it wears so bad. Holy shit. Like, th like this is, this is a McDonald's toy. 
insanely hypersaturated. This has no business being in the game. But then when you wear it down, it looks so bad. Ugh, because like the colors are so bright and so saturated that when they wear down to the weapon model underneath or the textures underneath, it just amplifies that contrast with the bright colors against the darker wear. It looks so bad. It's like I went through a goddamn corn thresher. Even minimal wear looks so bad because of just how dark the wear bits are. A custom wear maybe could have saved this one, like if it wore down to a, like more blue or more red maybe, but god, the level of saturation on these textures is just... Ugh. 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 Yeah, it's... it's marginally better than Yeti coded, but it's uh, definitely, definitely, it's assassin grade because it is bright and colorful. Therefore, we must rake, make it rare. And I'm okay with that. Make it rare, make them uncommon. And thankfully, no one uses the skin because it is pretty, it's pretty shit. Pretty shit. Bonk varnish is only used for bonk scout loadouts. Probably, yeah. Only works with a full bonk loadout. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. Beyond that, it would look weird being used by anybody else. Uh, okay, cardboard boxed. I don't know what to do with you. <sighs> I like this one. It still retains an air of it looking like a weapon on most things. Yeah, it's funny, like cardboard weapon, haha, I'm beating you to death like a toilet paper roll. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think I can't say, I can't say it's better than Civic Duty or Small Town Bring Down, but it's still okay. I'm going to put it there. It's still just okay. Yeah, it's charming. It's a charming skin. It's not bad. It's not good. You know, it looks okay. Higher wares on this one also don't look abysmal, like one might expect. Because it's not like a super ugly contrast like this one. Like if you go to cardboard boxed, you know. It looks like a beat up cardboard box. You know, it still retains that air of, oh, this is a box that's been, you know, manhandled a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. It's just okay. Whoa, Nintendo Labo War Paint. Yeah, I'm going to make that joke again for the 5,000th time. Yeah, it's just... Eh. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a box, black box. Yeah, the, the joke's been beaten to death ad nauseum. It's just okay. It's just okay. Uh, I will cover the original decorated weapons in the next installment, which will happen on Friday. Today, we are just doing the war paints because there are so many to get through. Uh, Clover Camo. Like, this is what Bankrolled should have been. Because the greens are deep enough, the blacks are deep enough where you have, like, it's dark enough, you get a nice, it's nice contrast between the green and the black. And, like, out of all of these green skins, like, this is one of the few that I think gets the green right. Actually, I'm going to put this in, yeah, I'm going to put it, like, at the top of, at the top of D. Like, this is the best green skin out of all the other kind of mediocre green skins. I don't want to say it's good, though, because it's just really not all that. It's not... Ah, maybe I'll put it at the low. I'll put it at the low end of C tier, because it's not bad, right? I can't say it's bad. The colors are pretty appropriate. It's the best green skin that we have, but it's not... It, I can't say it's better than really any of these. Yeah, we'll put it at the low end of C tier. I think that's probably more appropriate. It's not that I don't like the color green, but just making green work with TF2 is hard. Because TF2 is not a game where there's a lot of green. It's not a present color. It's a lot of team-colored colors, right? You have a lot of reds, and you have a lot of blues. And then you have, like, a lot of grays and browns and stuff that's, like, in between, and oranges. There's just not a lot of green in this game, right? And so when you introduce green into the game, it really sticks out. Also, not to mention green is the color that the human eye is most sensitive to. So it really sticks out even more. So getting it into the game that lacks a lot of green, it's hard to do, right? Here's the thing. Snake water and, and things... Well, snake water also has like a lot of really washed out green. It's not like a super saturated green. And also there's a lot more of other stuff that isn't green to help kind of balance it out. You get more of it in like the jungle themed maps. But even then, those are like accents rather than like the full front visuals of the map, right? Like Lazarus, Mercenary Park, 
and that other one that's like the the really giant map right those kind of make it work but in the midst of everything else that's tf2 green just doesn't really fit with player models so and closure and borneo and things like that in brazil yeah well brazil even then it's like they like green isn't like at the forefront it's like nice you know washed out grassy color but even then it's like you'd think that these war paints would, would fit fine but they're still ugly but this one works it's weird i don't know why it works hmm ah i don't know it's a weird thing the lowest tier you'll see what we get you'll see what happens when we get to the lowest tier don't worry uh dream piped it's kind of shit it's it, it i mean it, it's pretty shit i really i don't know what else to say about this one it's just a shit skin i mean you got to get something for the ladies in there right you know for the girls that play tf2 the girls that play tf2 yeah you want to give them something cutesy then here you go it's kind of like lego making toys for girls i get it but i mean just do what you're good at lego you know that, that's what the, that's what this screams to me it's like lego making toys for girls and some girls like them fine but it's not really it's not really appropriate for tf2 because it's like yeah it's a bunch of dudes murdering each other in a battlefield but oh look cute little puppies and kittens pyroland i get it but it's like eh, it also just doesn't look very good i'm not a fan of sticker pattern war paints at all there are very few that i think are acceptable this is definitely in E tier territory. It's just not, it's just not very good. I just don't, I don't think it's very good. It's, it's like, a, it's like at the high. I'll put it like at the top of E tier, up here. It's like, the, it's like just between, but it's definitely like top of E tier. Just, eh, yeah. And there are better pink skins out there, like Dovetailed, which are a bit more tailored and appropriate for the game, which we will get to. Uh, let's see, Fire Glazed. I'm iffy about this one. I'm going to put it in upper B tier. I think this one's pretty good. It's like up here, I would say. Out of all the flame-themed skins we have in TF2, this one does it the best. The colors are the closest. They're the most appropriate. It's just something about the blue fire that throws me off a little bit. The blue fire looks funky, but it's not terrible. You know, it's not, it's not the worst. Let me go to Fire Glazed. The black helps it a lot. Like, the black texture really helps balance it out. It's just the, the blue looks nice, but it's kind of just... I don't know. Oh, actually, the more the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm kind of, like, reminded of... I am just... Sorry, I'm putting it higher. I'm putting... I'm, I'm, I'm reminded again that it... it that I that I really do like this one. It's it's saturated, but not saturated to the point where it's like not appropriate for the game, right? It's almost too much. It really skirts that line, but it doesn't cross it, right? And there are many examples that we're gonna get to that do cross that line that look really shit. This one is really, really close. Really, really close. Most of my opinions over time changed to revisit the war paints. Yes, and We'll get to that. So yeah, this is this is definitely low A tier. Uh Freedom Wrapped is easily A. Uh America is the best country. Fuck you. A tier war paint looks really good. It just it it fits the game. The colors are great. Soldier Scout, Engineer can all use it. It's just a really solid skin. I love it to death. Looks good on so many different weapon models. Battle Scarred on Freedom Wrapped looks kick ass. Like, if, let's, I'll show you the rocket launcher, right? Like, this is the definitive, you're going to put this skin on this weapon, and then you make it battle-scarred. Look how kick-ass this looks. The the wear underneath makes it look so cool. It's like a battle-scarred, America-themed skin. It just, it just works. It looks so fucking good. I like this skin with higher wears more than I do with Factory New. But even with Factory New, oh, it looks good. Oh, I love this skin. So fucking awesome. Looks phenomenal. Like, even for, like, the heavy using it, like, that that looks awesome, right? Like, adding insult to injury of a Russian using an American flag to kill other Americans, right? It's just, 
it fits the game, right? Just, yeah, looks good. Looks good. I love this one. Easy A. Easy, easy top of A tier. Right, right there. Period. What the fuck is a kilometer? Uh, Kill Covered. Uh, if you like your edgy skins, then this one is for you. This one's okay. This is one of the black and white skins that looks pretty good. The main texture has a lot going on, but it's faded enough where it's not super busy. It's pretty good. It's just, it's, it's all right. It's all right. S, I'm, I'm making S tier a lot harder to get into, all right? I'm going to say upper B. Like, it's slightly better than Sax Waxed, I'll say, because it gets the colors right. And, the like, it's not too saturated white or black. It just meshes well with the game, I think. And there's not a lot of black skins that do that and achieve that. And it looks it looks pretty good. So, we're going to put it in the upper end upper end of B tier. And I actually, for a time, I had a, uh, I had a strange... Was it, was it Factory New? I don't remember if it was Factory New, if it was Minimal Wear, or maybe it was Field Tested. I think it was Factory New, but it may have been Field Tested, I don't recall. But I had a strange, unusual, kill-covered Medigun. That looks pretty good. Like, for black and white, it looks pretty good. This still retains enough of the air of, it, this is a weapon, right? So, and with higher wares, I mean, it still looks really good with higher wear, too. Yeah, it's it's good. I mean, yeah, it's the edgy skin, but it it objectively looks pretty nice. I think. Merc stained. As the kids say, it is mid. I love the colors on this one, but the main texture is a little bit on the busy side. It hurts the eyes just a little bit too much. I'm going to put it at the top of C tier, kind of like over here. The things are going to start overlapping a little bit. But I'm going to put you like at the top of C tier. I like the colors on this one. It's just okay. It's just okay. Black and orange look really good together. This one pulls it off. It's right around here. I'm okay with it. Yeah, the colors are great, but it's just a tad too busy. I do completely agree. So, Merc Stained, Merc Stained, Merc Stained. Wrong list. Merc Stained. Yeah, see... Like, when you get enough of the black kind of breaking up the busy texture, the colors look really good. But then you put it on something like... Sniper rifle, pretty good or bad? It's not terrible. The problem with this one is that you got random scaling. When the texture is scaled up enough, it looks good. But if it's scaled down too much, it like, when it's scaled up like that, that looks pretty good. Because you get more... You get bigger patches of solid color, which is more in line of what you would see inside of Team Fortress 2 cartoony big patches of color rather than really really busy stuff kind of mishmashed together but when it's scaled down like that it just doesn't look as good if they had fixed the scaling where it was bigger i think it would be a lot better but because when you get scaled down it makes it look too busy it's just it's just eh. so top top of c tier i will say top of c tier for merc stained and yeah it does remind you of achievement colors Actually, no, fuck you. It's down here. Fucking stupid pizza skin. Fucking pizza shit. Like, really? Pizza? It's like, was, it, was this was this necessary? Was this necessary? Uncle Dane used to use that orange skin, and you called it mid. He has shit taste. Oh, no. Yeah, funny, funny, wacky pizza skin. Haha, ha, look, the gun is made of pizza. Like, it's it's more, better and more fitting. Like, oh, look, it's made of cardboard. Still looks like a weapon. But, oh, hey, look, pizza. Ugh, it just, it looks like shit, too. It's a really busy texture, and it's just, it, why? Why why put this in the game? It makes no sense. And, and this is another one of those skins that I just don't really ever see used by anybody. Why? Just, like, does, like CSGO doesn't even have a... Does CSG even have any food themed skins aside from bananas? Like I know they have the the the, the monkey business, the five seven monkey business, and then you have the revolver, the R eight revolver that was added recently. It's also a banana. Are there any other food themed skins in CSGO? No. Like those are those are the only ones I can think of. But fucking pizza and TF two, fuck it, why not, right? Well, is snack attack really food though? It's like little little gremlins though. Uh, Quack Canvas is, in my eyes, one of the shittiest skins ever added. It is bottom of E tier. 
It is worse than all of these. Why the fuck did they add this? It is absolute trash of a skin. Shitty gridded sticker pattern. Oh, cutesy rubber ducks. We get it. You fucked up end of the line. We understand. You fucked up a heavily anticipated update. And you decided to spit in our faces by adding a shit skin with not only baby shit green, but fucking rubber ducks in a cheesy gridded sticker pattern that looks like the cover of a child's notebook. Absolute garbage skin. Should have never been added. Trash. Starcrossed. Decent. Like low, low B tier skin, kind of around here, like like here ish. In it's in this territory. Pretty decent team colored skin. I don't like the blue variant that much because it kind of treads on purple. Star cross, star cross, star cross, star cross, star cross. Actually, no, I misremembered. It's pretty blue. Like, the color work is good, the texture work is good, but it just doesn't really feel like TF2. It doesn't feel like a TF2 texture. It feels like a texture like like you would see in a child's bedroom, right? That's what I think. It, it kind of feels like I'm looking inside of a child's bedroom. Like, th like this is what my bedroom looked like when I was a toddler, right? I would, I would be put in my crib. I'd have my little, uh, what's it called? The thing that hangs over the kid's head. The, um, oh God, what's that called? Fuck. You know what I'm talking about. And then, like, my walls are painted with this texture. A mobile, thank you. I could not remember the word for that, Jesus. Um, but yeah, this kind of looks like a like a kid's bedroom. So, just... Eh. But the colors are good. And it looks decent. So, B tier. Yeah. We'll say B tier. Final answer. Uh, okay. So, that takes care of the first four war paint collections. And now, we get to some good stuff. Now we are going to see our first S tier in this collection. We have the Winter 2017 collection, which many have deemed as the last good war paint collection ever placed inside of TF2. Because ev like, like th this collection, this collection is the tipping point. Everything added after this collection has been fucking awful. Like, the, the, the sheerness in the drop-off in quality of war paints after this collection is so steep, it's inverted. You have, like, an inverted slope of how steep the quality drop-off is after this collection. Unbelievable what they decided to start handling, or how they started to decide that, how they decided to handle war paints beyond this point. What the fuck, Valve? This was the tipping point, all right? First up. Alien Tech. Decent green skin. It's another pattern that's not exactly reminiscent of TF2, but it's still pretty okay. I'm going to put it in the same territory as Clover Camoed. It's just, it's just decent, right? But it's not like amazing by any means. The Xbox skin. Very, very good. Very good descriptor there. Yeah. So I'm going to put it down here in C tier. It's just, it's just eh. Whereas Bomber Soul is much better because this looks like a war military themed skin that doesn't rely on something like camo to remind you that oh yeah this is a war game this is a military game right it uses the metal plating on an airplane a war plane it looks fucking awesome you have the little insignia that's like on the reserve shooter this little star and it just it's just really good colors and texture work that and this is like one of those instances where green is fucking awesome it looks great Yes, that is the only reason, NN, why it is not an A tier, because the random or actually no, we'll say low A tier for Bomber Soul. Low A tier for Bomber Soul. But it's not S tier because the random orientation on this on the skin fucks it. If it had a fixed orientation where the metal plating looked really good, then it would be great. I have an example of that. I have a very rare, very rare 90 degree pattern bomber soul rocket launcher. Look how good this looks. Look how good this looks. This is a phenomenal skin that meshes with the game perfectly. It is a kick-ass skin. And the fact this isn't orientation locked is a goddamn crime. But it looks so good. Yeah, it is It is deserved. Deserved of a lot. I'll put it above Fire Glazed, actually. Above Bovine. I'm sorry. Actually, no. I can't. I can't rate it lower than fucking Freedom Wrapped, either. 
it's it's in the territory of freedom wrapped it's just a really solid skin that looks really good for the game like th this this is the territory where you need to be uh hey funny internet man that makes actually good points nice to finally catch one of these live neat thanks for the entertainment you're welcome sir and thank you thank you for the five bucks i appreciate it uh cabin fevered yeah, it's pretty okay I mean, yeah, it's referencing The Shining. For those of you who've seen The Shining, then you know where this pattern comes from. Texture work is good. The colors are good. Definitely kind of in the... It's in the B territory. Kind of like mid-B-ish mid, mid B, B -ish territory. You don't see this one a lot. It's very much kind of like in that 70s color and pattern style. You know, it's got enough of the white on there, but not too much, right? It's broken up nicely by like the detailings of the wood panels and boards. It's just a, It's just a good skin in my eyes. So I'm going to put it in B tier. Can I Yeah, it's definitely above star. I'm going to Yeah, it's definitely above these. I'm going to pump I'm going to bump these two a bit lower. Yeah, I'm going to say it's around here. It's it's getting into the upper territory of B tier. Definitely better than Iron Wood and Night Owl Mark 2. It's like it's in it's right around here, I'll say. Yeah, just a just a good skin. Just a good skin. Cosmic Calamity is kind of shit. I don't, I don't like this one. I, it's just this, it's just this main little. It's uh, we're we're in the territory of Starcrossed, except we've gone too far over the line where this is indeed just like a child's mobile or their bedroom painting over their head, and it just looks really bad. I don't, I don't like the skin. This is in D territory. I'm sorry, it's down here. It's kind of near Forest Fire. Just my opinion. I don't like this one. And even in, like, higher wares, it's just not very good. Like, higher wares on Cosmic Calamity actually make it look better, oddly enough, because it looks like it's a shooting star. Why is my weapon model so small? Like, Factory New is... Yeah, but then when you put it in Battle Scarred, get one with some nice burn marks on it. Like, that looks like it's fallen from space. That helps it a little bit. But it's just... I don't, I don't, I don't like this texture. I don't like the random, like, when you have a lot of random disorganized elements slapped all over a weapon model, it just does not look good. You need to have some semblance of structure. Like, all TF2 textures have some semblance of structure within them, right? But they have, like, those minor imperfections throughout that still make them look like they were handmade. Like, for example, if you go and look at the game files... I'll show you I'll show you an example of what I mean, right? I'll show you an example of what I mean. Having random shit slapped all over a texture looks really improper for a game like TF2 when you can look at something like say this solid bone texture and the only minor random embellishments are scratches and like spot patterns. But then if you go to something like here Note that all of the painterly swipes are all at 90 degree orientations with each other. All of like the different square painterly swipes are at random orientations. You kind of retain this semblance of order with minor embellishments that help break it up that are random, but it, the randomness doesn't make up the entirety of the texture. I know I'm butchering this explanation, but I hope this visual example describes what I mean. When you just have nothing but random crap vomited all over a texture, it looks really bad. And then when you grid it and then make the orientations random, it looks really, really it, it looks worse. Like the fucking duck skin. Actually, I'm going to put you lower. I fucking hate the skin. Like bottom, bottom of E tier. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Damascus Mahogany. S. Yes. It's it is objectively one of the best war paints ever added to this game. Like this this is the definitive what TF2 skins should be. It is so fucking good. It is clean. It looks amazing at anywhere. It fits every weapon. I I can't I can't I can't. I got I got to put it up here. I'm sorry. It's 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 above S. It's just one of the best war paints ever added. It's fucking great. It's you can't you can't go beyond you can't go beyond. It's so good. Right? So, like, I'll show you what I mean. Like, it just... It's so fucking clean. 
it just the wood on the head like the metal is all in the right places the wood is all in all of the right places on so many weapon models man like look at that does he got the wood on the handle you got the metal on the parts that should be metal it is just oh it's so fucking good you cannot you cannot beat this skin ah man it just fuck why don't we get more it's got the shine why don't we get why don't we get more skins like this please and it's a blue it's a blue but it comes from an insanely expensive case so don't bother trying to find it for cheap you're not going to it just it looks so good on like like even the degreaser even even weapon models like the degreaser and the brass beast which are notorious for looking terrible with most war paints look awesome with Damascus Mahogany. It is so fucking good, and it's a goddamn shame we don't get more fucking skins like this. It is amazing. Crying shame we don't get more up here. Up here, sorry. Are there any Workshop War Paints? Yes, there are countless, countless War Paints on the Workshop that are better than everything we have in this game, but Valve refuses to add them. They will never add good shit. They will keep copying and pasting garbage. And that's why I have an extremely negative outlook on the summer update. Coming soon, I have an extremely negative outlook on the summer update. Because for the past six years, they have added nothing but shit war paints. We're about to get to them. After this collection, it goes fucking downhill. Hard. Right? And they just refuse to add good skins. And I don't understand it. They just keep cramming in shitty holiday-themed trash with themes and colors and patterns that do not belong. They're horrible. Damascus Mahogany is good. I like how people say soy when I'm just fanning out over something I enjoy. Like, God forbid someone enjoy something, right? Oh, it's soy if you like something. God forbid. Oh, no. All right, let's see. Dovetail. If you're gonna make a if you're gonna do a pink skin, if you're gonna do a pink skin, this is how you do it, right? It's tied into the theming of TF2. It's the doves with medic, right? It's it just it just works, right? It just works. For some reason, when you something look at something like Dream Piped, the darker colors actually detract from the skin. This one, it keeps it light, but it also has like this white solid color to help kind of balance out the dove pattern. It's just better than dream pipe i'm not saying it's good it's you know it's kind of around here with manana peeled it's it's inoffensive it's just it's nice but it's not it's not amazing just it's right around here and around here no but, but dnm uh, what i what i should do is uh i should oh I, I can't though i can't like you 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 had to have been here to see me to see it get put up here in this tier all right this this is where damascus mahogany is you gotta watch the whole stream I watch it all and like yeah this is the quintessential medic girlfriend war paint for sure <laughs> millions will cry is just the absolutely destroys bad war paints B billions must cry millions must unbox millions must unbox uh okay controversial opinion geometrical teams is kind of shit the colors are great, don't get me wrong, but the fucking texture is so poorly made, it is horrible. There are geometrical patterns that look really good. For example, the one that's on Night Owl Mark II is seamless, looks really good. Whereas if you get something like this, this pattern is not seamless, right? So if you go to geometrical teams... Hang on, I'll show you what I mean. You go to geometrical teams, and then you go to something as simple as the black box, you get this nice fucking seam running across the entire texture. It looks so bad, right? The colors are fine. I love the color work on this, but this is just not the right kind of texture work to be put in the game. If this was seamless, it would help it a lot, because you wouldn't get this massive ugly line cutting across your weapon models. But, like, ugh. But again, like, I, I can't rate it below D because the color work is nailed, but the texture work is, like, I'll rate it above all of these for sure. Actually, no, I can't do that. I'll put it in, like, low C tier. It's, like, down here. L low C tier, kind of in this territory, I will say. But that the texture work is so half baked. It was like it was like someone's first attempt at making a war paint, and Valve said, I'll take that and put it in the game. So. 
it's like i'm really happy that they paid attention to the color palette but it just didn't it, they just fell really short with the texture work and so that's why i can't rate it higher than c hi big z this stream will be my choice in skins in which i decide to use on my cosmetic loadouts in which i use a lot of paints i'd like to hear your opinions on cosmetic combos with skins you can make a lot of good combos with skins man like i can show you one right now that i have with my medic right so I have this medic who uses green cosmetics and it looks really good with my high rollers medigun. You know, I, I dyed this cosmetic Zephaniah's greed and like you can make a loadout like this and you can make a lot of nice loadouts that tie in with the colors. There's tons of opportunity here. Very much overlooked. So yeah, this, this works. You can definitely do stuff with skins and make nice loadouts. Absolutely. Uh, Hannah. I mean, it's it's kind of shit. I'm sorry. I just I don't like Hannah. It's not just the color. It's too it's too saturated, man. It's too saturated. It's just not. It's 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 marginally better than Forest Fire. It's like it's like up here. It's in the upper area of D tier, but it's just. It's the colors, man. It's it's the saturation on this. It just does not look appropriate for TF2. Like it like even the texture work just does not look like something you would see in TF2. The colors are almost there. It it goes over the line just a little bit on the saturation, but if you're going to pick a pink skin like this, this is what you want to go for, right? That nice pastel-y washed out washed out colors. That meshes with TF2 far better than a saturated gradient, right? You don't see massive gradients over stuff, right? And if you do, the ones that work use TF2-esque colors, right? So this one is, it's definitely down here, mainly because of the colors. Texture work is just, it really leaves something to be desired. It's not fleshed out enough. Yeah, it's just, it's just, eh. It's just, eh. I, 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 listen, I know they're not explicitly pink skins. They are team colored, but just... This one, this one doesn't look good. Just, just saying, not very good. Hazard warning. However, A, I love hazard warning. It's such a cool fucking skin. Out of all of the striped themed, actually, no, I'm gonna rate it higher than Freedom Wrapped. Sorry, you're up here. Hazard warning is like top of A tier. It's really fucking good. It's so good. Gimme, 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 gimme. Because it looks, it looks beat up enough. It looks beat up enough, right? You got like the dinge, you got the grit, you got the galvanized metal look to this one, and it higher wears. Oh, 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 it's so good. It's such a good skin, dude. Like this is another one of those ones that just meshes with TF2 so well. It's a kick-ass war paint. It's a shame this collection has so many, as the kids say, bangers, and it's relegated to a limited case, each one costing now like $16. Insane, insane. What skin will I say it looks good and unusual? Like, if you got hot, like the hot effect on this one, oh, oh, yeah, good shit. Another one that looks, like, this is another one of those skins that even looks good with the Brass Beast, and so few do. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's just another really good skin, man. It is it is kick-ass. Oh. And yeah, I kind of agree. No case is really going to top Winter 2017. I saw someone send me a trade offer. I'm curious as to what they sent me. <laughs> hazard warning with wear greater than hazard warning factory new. I will agree. I actually will agree with that statement. Thank you for the three engineer hats <laughs> that are all the same. Very random trade offer, but I appreciate that. I will agree. Hazard warning with some wear does look better than factory new. And that's also the sign of a good war paint is when you have higher wares and it looks good... That's when you know it's a good war paint. I just, I mean. I just, I mean, I mean, dude. It's, it's the it's the wild berry pop tart skin. It, it looks like it looks it looks like the wild berry pop tarts. 
Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I will say this about Jazzy. If you're going to work with colors that exist outside of TF2's color palette, colors that are normally very bright and saturated, this is how you want to handle them. If you're going to work with purples, if you're going to work with like teals and brighter colors like that, you want to desaturate them enough so they get to that pastel -y territory. Then they mesh significantly better with the rest of the game. This war paint also incorporates a lot of that painterly style, right? You see all of like the, the minor imperfections. It looks like it was painted on with brush strokes. Had these been true solid colors where there's no small details and little and little blemishes to help break it up, it would make it look a lot worse. And like flat textures on this one would have been like it, it would have been the deal breaker for me. Like even for what it is, even for it not fitting in the game of TF2, this is how you want to handle those that level of brightness and color, right? Freedom Wrap does the same thing. Fire Glaze does the same thing, where it's just pastel -y enough, where it's okay. It's okay. I just, I don't want to rate it that highly, because it still just sticks out like a fucking sore thumb. It doesn't mesh with a lot of good loadouts. It's gaudy. It just doesn't really fit with the game. But it doesn't look bad, and so I'm torn, right? It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't fit, and so I'm really struggling. I'm going to put it in B. We'll, we'll put it in this territory. I don't want to put it in C because, like, they succeeded in making, skin, in making colors like this kind of mesh with TF2. I'm going to put it in B. I do like it, right? But my, my opinions as to what is and isn't appropriate for TF2 have changed dr like dramatically because like I'm just seeing more and more garbage added to the game, so I want to adhere to a stricter standard. And this one this one meets it. It does meet it. It does meet it, but I, I cannot give no no, I cannot give Jazzy S tier. I'm sorry. I, I, I simply can't. I will not. Why? Why? Like, why, why? Why ever? Why put pixel art inside of TF2? It does not work. Why put this level of hypersaturation in TF2? It does not work. The texture is seamless, so it looks fucking ugly, right? It is an absolute trash skin that just should have never been added to TF2. Fucking awful. Awful skin. It is, it's worse, like, it's worse than all these. Like, you, you could make an argument you could make an argument for Quack Canvas, right? You could, you can just barely tie into the game. The colors aren't saturated, yada yada. You can make arguments for it. You cannot make an argument for this skin. You just can't do it, right? You can't do it. I'm gonna go to my screen here before I look at these trade off for this trade offer because it's probably gonna say something very offensive. We'll get back to that later. But it just, it just does not, it does not fit. It does not belong in the game, and I will stand by that. It's trash. It's garbage. It does not fit. Period. Final, final. Mosaic is awesome. I love this skin. It looks, this is a really cool pattern. It's, it's, it's busy, but not super busy enough. It's got the right colors. It's got the right level of detail. It's just, it's right up here in B territory, like right next to Cabin Fever. It is a cool fucking skin. I love this one. So let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show ya. Let me show ya with Mosaic. Put it on something like the fucking, I don't know, black box. I just, I love the colors, man. I love this skin. And like the scaling doesn't get too small. Where it looks like ass. I feel like a fixed orientation, an orientation lock on this one would have helped it a lot. But you can get some pretty interesting patterns, right? Where it's like mostly vertical or mostly horizontal, like that. Like, look, look, ooh, ooh. Yeah, like if you had an orientation lock on this where you could get horizontal stripes, but with the angles on here, oh, dude, that would look so much better. But the randomness does give you some interesting patterns, you know? It does give you some interesting patterns, but when you can get a set of the lines to be either vertical or horizontal, then it looks really good. But the color work on this one, too, is just... Oh, it's so good. Oh, it fits the game. Oh, I love it. I am soying, as they say. And I will continue to soy. It's just good. Sadly, 
it's rare and it's expensive and uh, good luck getting your hands on it. Next one. Next war paint that just suffers. It suffers from a lack of orientation lock is Neo Tokyo. It is a goddamn shame Neo Tokyo doesn't have orientation lock because it would look 100 times better than it does now. The random orientation kills this war paint and it's so fucking sad. The colors are great. The texture work is great. I love the theming of it. It's referencing Akira, but they take an anime reference and they bring it into the stylization of TF2. Unlike pixel art, which is not in the stylization of TF2 and looks like trash. This is how you do it. If you're going to reference external media, you got to bring it into the stylization of TF2. And it looks really fucking good. That's how you do it. And they succeeded with this one. But it makes me sad that there is no orientation lock on this. And it makes me upset. It would look ten times better. I will say it's better than... It's, it's definitely, like, up here. It's in, the, it's in the territory of Mosaic. I will say... I will say Mosaic is a little bit better. I will say Mosaic is better. I'm sorry. Mosaic is better than Neo Tokyo. But it is still good. It is still a good war paint. This is my tier list. Feel free to disagree. But it's up there. It's up there. Alright? It's up there. Right there. Definitely better than Cabin Fever. No, I can't put this. I, I cannot put this in C tier. Really? Comparing this with these? No, it's, it's B tier. Sorry, it's B tier. It's B tier. This was it. This war paint right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, gotta, I gotta come off to the side for a moment. This right here. This fucker right here. This was it. This was the catalyst. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the catalyst. This was the beginning. This was the sign. This was the eclipse. This was the eclipse that blocked out the sun. It was the sign of darker times to come. This was, this was patient zero. This was the beginning of the end. When Valve saw this, and it all comes tumbling down. It all comes tumbling down because this war paint set the standard for 90% of war paints that came after it. This is it. This trash was the beginning of the end. And it is a fucking shame that this was the standard, if not lower, that Valve stuck to. It was the beginning of the end. It was the beginning of the end. And for that reason, it is down here. Right here. What the fuck were you thinking, Valve? What the fuck were you thinking? Thinking that this was okay. No one uses this. No one uses this. This was it. This th that was that was it. That's the beginning. Everything else after it. What the fuck is wrong with you, Valve? Seriously. Jesus fucking Christ. Why? 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 Why do this to us? <sighs> and the final war paint in the Winter 2017 collection, ladies and gentlemen, is Uranium. Uranium also... Is, is, I forget if Uranium is orientation locked. I might be wrong. Yeah, it's not. If Uranium was orientation locked, my god, this would be, this would be like another A-tier skin. But it suffers from the same problem as Neo Tokyo, where it's not orientation locked, so I, I gotta put it, like, right next to it. This is another kick-ass skin. It looks really fucking good. It handles bright... It, listen, this war paint handles hyper-saturated colors in the correct way, where it is a minor detail that's heavily balanced out by other pastel color palettes and other pastel textures and textures that match the art style of the game that bring it back and ground it in the stylization of the game. The entire thing isn't lime green, but just enough, just enough, where it still looks really good. But the problem is that it's not fucking orientation locked. And if it was, and Neo Tokyo as well, they'd be rated way higher, way higher. But unfortunately, it's not. And it's just a crying shame, but it is still a very good war paint. 
Hazard warning deserves to be on S tier, though. I kind of agree. I changed my mind. We'll put it in. We'll put you in S tier. I changed. And as a reminder for everybody, Damascus is up here. As a reminder, Damascus is up here. Hazard warning is up here. All right. Just as a reminder. Yeah, I'll say hazard warning is an S tier. Like, hazard warning defines S tier, I will say. And then Damascus goes beyond it. For sure. So, remember what I said. Remember what I said about the, the steepness in the drop-off of the quality of war paints after the winter 2017 collection. Do you remember what I said about the steepness and quality drop off? Remember how I said that this set the standard? Just. Oh, wait, hold on. There's more. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, 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 you think I'm done? Oh, don't worry. There's more. Oh, you, you thought that was it? Oh, wait. No, no. Don't, trust me. There's more. Just, just actually, no, that was it. Like, what the fuck, Valve? Seriously. Jesus Christ. Nobody uses these. The, the, like, the best of these might be, might be Spectral Shimmered, but they fucked the implementation of this one. The scaling is wrong, the colors are fucked, the shaders are wrong, they destroyed this one. It could have looked better, but no, we need wacky sticker war paints with the same little images gridded and repeated over and over again. This, this, this is what war paints should be, guys. This, this is the standard that Valve set. Compare these, right? Compare these to everything that came before. Look at how awful war paints became in less than a year. Less than a year. This is what the standard was set to. Compare winter 2017 to this shit. What the fuck happened? Why? Like, I get it. It's Scream Fortress. You want to add theme to shit, but you could have done something better. My god. And this, I know this isn't even the worst. We've just begun. We're just over the crest of the hill and now we're going down. Holy God. All right. The e, e tier is going to get filled out very quickly. So I'm sorry, but this is shit. Ghost Town, shit. Absolute shit. Like this is, this one's really bad. Low, low D tier. For spectral shimmered, haunted co haunted ghosts, upper E tier, horror holiday, absolute garbage. Like why? Why even add this? Why with both of these? Why? And then this one as well. Like just totally boned is E. Like what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus. And then Tumor Toasted, right? Like, thank God, like, we, we got something unique, right? We, we, got, we got something, we got something unique out of this case, right? Like, something unique, but it looks so bad. It's so fucking ugly. It is hideous. It looks like puke, right? But at least it's like, oh yeah, this is Halloween. It, it, it's, but it's still, it's still so shit. It's still so bad. It's, it's, it's better than all of this crap, but it's still, like, down here. Like, I can't, I can't even put it in D, dude. I can't. I, it's gotta be down here. Like, Ghost Town, a little bit better. But, like, because the colors are at least kind of interesting. But this one is just so fucking ugly. But, yeah, like, just because it's meant to be ugly, it doesn't mean that it succeeds at being a good skin, right? It's just... Yeah, it's like, oh, it's meant to be ugly, but then no one wants it. Like, if it's ugly, who's that going to appeal to? Nobody, right? Like, the, what's the point of making an ugly loadout if you're just, like, just fucking around? It's just, oh my god. It's so bad. And honestly, in my eyes, the only decent skin that came out of this is Skull Study. And not for the fact that it's like, oh, it's an epic JoJo reference. This one actually looks okay. 
because it's like this nice repeating pattern. It has like this cloth texture to it. The colors look good, right? This still kind of looks like something that would fit in the game, right? It's not amazing. It's not good. It's just like, okay. And this is the best one that came out of this collection, right? Like, and this one at best is like a low to mid seat here. It's kind of around here, right? And then Electroshocked is just a busier, messier version of the Thunderbolt sniper rifle that we got in the Gunmetal Collection, right? Except it removes the balancing factor that Thunderbolt had, right? Like, if we go look at Thunderbolt, right? The Thunderbolt sniper rifle had a lot of this solid black and yellow to help balance out the busyness of this main texture, and, not to mention, the saturation is lower. This still looks like it has that air of TF2-esque-ness about it. But then you go to fucking Electroshocked, man. And look at this. Look how fucking busy this is. I'll go to the sniper rifle again just for comparison. But like, oh my god. What happened? What the fuck happened? Jesus. It's so ugly. The blue is kind of interesting. The colors are okay, but man, that texture work is so bad. Just it's like what the fuck, man? This is this is like a low D tier. It's like down here in my opinion. Like when when this skull study war paint is like the best from that collection, you know. You know we're in for some dark times. We are in for dark days, ladies and gentlemen. Because it only gets worse from here. Ah, it only gets worse. <sighs> Hold on. Hang on. My files got messed up. It just gets worse. Oh, it just gets worse. Just... We have the Winter 2019 collection. They just put the same war paint in the game twice! It's the same one! It's the same shit! Except with snowmen instead of polar bears! Fuck off! No one uses these! Stop it! Valve, please! God! Ah, uh, these are all so bad. Just like, again, like, why? Why? And like, 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 I can't even make a pass for this one. Like, like, all of these you could kind of make an argument for, but all of these are just, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Like, like, here they're terrible, but you can make an argument for. But these are all so fucking bad, dude. Ugh. Ugh. And then fucking Alpine. Alpine is at least something, right? This this is still kind of like, as the kids say, mid. It falls in the same tier as the rest of these green war paints. It's like a military camo-ish, you know, except like a forest camo. That one's okay. It's not terrible. It's not good. But I still got to put it kind of down here. Maybe up here, like the bottom of C tier, maybe. Kind of in this territory. Because I will say it's better than these. But it's, it's kind of, it's in here. It's just not great. And then you got Frost Ornamented. This is at least something, right? It's kind of in the area of, of like, Bloom Buffed. But it's it's just, it leaves a lot to be desired, right? It's just, it's just okay. It's team color. It's not ugly. This is another, like, low C tier skin. It's kind of, it's, or maybe upper D tier. Kind of around here. Not amazing, but just, it's just, eh. And then you have Igloo, which is just blue. That looks really hideously out of place on fucking Red Team. And the snow texture doesn't even look like... Like, this doesn't even look like a TF2 texture. And this is just solid blue. It's ugly. It's, like, you could still kind of make an argument for it. But it's, it's like, low D tier. It's, it's just not good. And then Slay and Style has, like... Th listen. Slay and Style has one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to composition. Red and green juxtaposed against each other almost always looks like hot fucking shit and this is another example of that it looks so bad and then to make it worse it has a blue variant it has a blue variant that is not any better 
Come here, slaying style. Like, that is kind of okay. But then the blue. The blue and the green. Oh my god. Just, yeah. Ah. ah. It, another, it's like D. You could still make argu more arguments for these, but this is still like D territory. In my opinion, the best one they added from this case is Smith's Miss Camo. Because it, it still, it looks like a weapon, right? You have like the galvanized metal, you have the brown wood-ish stuff to kind of balance it out. But this main texture is so noisy. It's so busy. Like there's so little saving this, right? Like, if you squint, it doesn't look like a Christmas skin. But if you look at it for more than two seconds, it's just a Christmas skin. It's just, God, it, like, upper, upper D tier, maybe? C? Is it better? It's like, it's on the order of Alpine. It's, it's, it's around here. It's around here. But it's just, it's just not, just, ah. Just, ah. God. Crying shame. And then this one too, like this is at least kind of okay. It's still really busy, but I think this one has like the best color work out of all of these. This is probably one of the most appropriate Christmas skins we have, in my opinion, because this is like, yeah, it's like TF2-ish-esque still. It's a decent team colored skin, definitely better than Frost Ornamented. Actually, I lied. I think this is the best one that came out of that collection. I'm going to put it up here also, kind of in, in C tier territory. Kind of around here, like up, up right there. I will say, kind of around there. It's still like bottom of C tier. It's okay. Yeah, it's more winter themed than Christmas themed, so it gets a few more passes. And, and then just it's just it's just stripes. It it. I, like you can't you can't even make an argument like like, you can't you can't you can't. I actually, I can't even make an argument for this one. It's just stripes. It's just stripes. Fuck. Why? Ah, terrible. Ter like easily. We're not. We're not even at the worst yet. We're not even at the worst. We're getting there. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Hold on. I I'm. I'm missing a collection here. Where's my Scream Fortress Twelve? Oh shit. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna take a- I need to take a moment because I need to, like, save these pictures. So, hold on, I need to make a few new folders. Folder. Uh, so, 15, we need Scream Fortress 12. I forgot Scream Fortress 12. New folder, we need Scream Fortress 13. New folder, we need Smith Smith 2021. And then we need Scream Fortress 14. Scream Fortress 14. Hang on a minute. I got to go save all of these pictures. So just give me just a moment. So I can actually put these in our tier list here. And as I do this, I will ask, how's everybody doing? Everyone doing all right? Everyone doing good? Everyone doing A-okay? I sure hope so. Doing fine, doing good. That is always good to hear. All right, Screen Fortress 12. Uh, yeah. Screen Fortress 12. Another one. Save. Save. Saving all the pictures. Finished exams, hoping to play some good old TF2 this summer and DRG, get to make some new loadouts. Awesome. How about you? I'm doing all right. Doing it okay. I'm gonna I I'm gonna have a fairly relaxed summer, which I'm very much looking forward to because I haven't been able to take a nice relaxed summer in a long time. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. Is that the entirety of Scream Fortress 12? Nope. One more. Two more. I forgot how big this collection was. All right, so now... Oy, okay, so now we need winter... 2021. Ass. 
Oh, there's still so many more to go through. Video on the state of modern gaming. You realize that would get me crucified, right? Because I'm not a Zoomer expressing Zoomer mentalities, and most people that consume media on the internet are Zoomers. So as soon as I express a dissenting opinion that doesn't bow down and suck the dick of Fortnite, then uh, I will be crucified and probably shot in the head. I haven't. No, I'm, don't worry. I'm not done yet. I'm. I'm just amassing the rest of the war paints I need. I need to save all the images before I can go through the rest. I'm not done. Still got a few more collections to go. Okay, so here's Scream Fortress 13. Save Scream Fortress 13. Slowly but surely saving all these. I know. I apologize for the delay. I apologize for the delay, but it is necessary so I can save everything. Did I save that one? I did. Oh god, fucking terrible war paint. Ah! I'm I'm being reminded of all the fucking terrible war paints, dude. It just it just doesn't stop. It never ends. Screen Fortress 14. Save. Alright, this is the last collection we need to save pictures for. And then we're good. I will get to Sunriser in a moment. I am saving all the pictures for Scream Fortress 14 so we can go through them when I get to that collection. We are not done yet. We're not done. And no, Frozen Aurora is not on the list yet, but it will be shortly. It will be shortly. Don't you worry your pretty little head. It's coming. Uh, okay, I think that's all of them. All right. Winter 2020. Ass. Ass, 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 ass. I, I, need, I need to zoom out a bit, because I'm, I'm running out of space. My, my, my other joke tiers will be visible, but I need, to, I need to make some more space here. I need to make space, move some things over. Cookie Fortress is just really shit. I mean, it's cute, like the, the artwork is nice and custom, but it's just, it's just not, not a good skin. It's not appropriate for TF2. It's just another silly holiday thing. It's one you can make some arguments for, but it's like down here, down here in the D territory for sure. Just really, really shit. Elephant enameled. Oops, all green. Oops, all stripes. Just a really painfully mediocre war paint. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as this garbage, but it's like, it's in Winterland Raps territory where it's just like, why, 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 why do this? No, I'm, I'm going to release the whole VOD unedited on my second channel to, for people to watch at their leisure. Frosty Delivery. Frosty Delivery is interesting. This is probably another one of those war paints where it's like one of the more appropriate Christmas-themed skins in the game. It's still way too flashy and super gaudy. Kind of has no business being in the game, but it's like, it's not the worst. It's like... It's kind of, it's kind of around here in mid D territory. It's okay. It's not nearly as bad as any of these, but it's, it's certainly around here. Please do not insert your own personalized sexual fetish items into TF2. That is all that needs to be said. Uh, here we go. Uh, what can I say for Gifting Man's wrapping paper other than hot trash? It is just a simple geometric pattern with flat colors, with too many colors that just don't go good together. Green and red and brown and gold and white all mishmashed together. It is just a really ugly eyesore. It's a war paint that I honestly can't even make an argument for. It just looks really bad. Another just shit tier war paint, period. Why, 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 why? Who at Val, it was Eric Smith, but like, they looked at this war paint and said, okay, yeah, this is fine. This is, there's totally nothing wrong with this skin. It's perfectly acceptable for TF2. What the fuck were they thinking when they picked this one? Seriously, 
Jesus Christ. Like, that's down here. Like, holy God. Like, what? What the fuck? And then here's another one. Glacial Glazed, for those of you that didn't know, is just an edited stock photograph that some guy pulled off of Google, slapped a couple of Photoshop filters on, and then called it a day. That's all this war paint is, is a stock picture off of Google. What the fuck? And this was accepted as an official edition into TF2. Like, like, just what the fuck, Valve? Like, imagine, imagine, imagine if they added this kind of a skin into CSGO. Could you imagine the fucking outrage that would come from that player base if they added a stock photograph as an official skin in CSGO? Could you fucking imagine the sheer white hot outrage if they would do that? Oh, but for TF2, if you dislike this kind of a skin, oh, it's harassment. It's bullying. God forbid we uphold a higher standard for stuff being added in the Team Fortress 2. My god, it's completely indefensible. It's completely indefensible. Thing is, like, even the M4A4 Howl was someone else's artwork that was just stolen, right? That wasn't just a stock foot. It's not just a picture someone took and then slapped on a weapon. No, that was actual drawn artwork that was illegally acquired and sold, right? You're not supposed to do that. It's copyrighted, right? But Glacial Glaze is just a fucking picture. It's a photo. Ugh. What the fuck, man? Fuck off. Yeah, and a lot... You know, well, don't worry, we'll get to... Like, I would not be surprised if many of these other clip art war paints also come off of Google. But I don't have evidence, so I'm not going to say that they are. Like, the Candy Cane one is okay, but it's just... It's just not great. It's, it's in D-tier territory. It's not offensive, but it's not very good. Just, ugh. The best war paint, the best war paint that came out of the this this the winter 2020 collection is saccharin striped. I don't care what people say. This is like a low A tier skin. Like th this was like the diamond in the rough. This was like the, the like that little like you're you're at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Like you're just you're clamoring. You want to swimming, trying to get to air. You need a breath. You need like you need like a fucking morsel. Like God, please show me a sign that everything is gonna be okay. And saccharin striped was given to us. This is. A really good war paint, simply because of the colors and the simplicity of it. It is a solid war paint. It looks good on fucking everything. Even with higher wares, it looks very good. And like it's, it was like I like I'm rating this one also highly because it this like at, at this point in time, like if you were around back then, be like we just been getting shit skin after shit skin after shit skin. This was just such a nice breath of fresh air. Like thank God we finally got something that was usable. It's like. In the, in the midst of moldy, shitty bread covered in feces, you see, like, this one unblemished, like, morsel of chocolate. You're like, oh, thank God, it's something, right? This just looks really good. It's got that shine, it's got that little bit of grit. It just, it, it's got it all. It looks really clean. It's regal, it's sleek. It's just, fuck, like... Even for its simplicity, right? Like, it's just stripes, it's just solid colors, but it looks like metal. It looks like a weapon, right? It just, and the colors are great. But fuck me, if this still isn't, like, a super low standard to meet, right? Like, the simplicity of this doesn't give the excuse for adding all the other crap they were adding, right? It's, it's just a really nice skin. And it's the only good one that we got that year. It's fucking, like, why? Why? Like, ugh. Smith Smith Spy Crabs, at, at least it's themed after TF2, much like this one, much like the Cookie Fortress one, but it's it's just not good, right? It's another one that you could kind of make an argument for, but it's just, it's mediocre. Mediocre gridded sticker pattern. Fuck. And then snow globalization. It's just child's drawings. It is just child's drawings and stripes. Ah! Fuck off! Like, yeah, okay, we're gonna take a child's drawing. Like, like this was made in MS Paint, right? It was made in fucking MS Paint. I don't know if it was made in MS Paint. I wouldn't be shocked if it was. But it's just awful. Like, why, why, why? You can't even make an argument for it. Belongs in, like, like down here. Child's drawing. Child's drawing. 
Ah! It's not stock. It's not stock because the people who made this texture also posted it on DeviantArt. So this was hand drawn, but it just doesn't belong in TF2. And then you have this. You have Babby's first war paint. Fucking snowflakes world. I like if you like I made that video several years ago where I remade this war paint in like three minutes. It's just three stripes slapped in Photoshop with a twirl warp and then like a snowflake made out of six lines and then you're done. It takes five minutes to make. Piss low quality, flat colors, too saturated. It is just shit. It does not belong in this game. And Valve's like, yeah, fuck it, add it, right? Someone's first ever war paint? Great idea. Another one that is just completely indefensible. Nothing can say that this is even remotely, not a shred, no pixel on this war paint. You can make an argument for it. Fucking terrible. And then fucking Starlight Serenity, which is just a fucking gradient that takes two clicks to make in Photoshop. It's a default setting. It's a default color gradient that you can click. Boom, boom, done. In my war paint video, I made this war paint in 60 seconds. In 60 fucking seconds. And then you use a star stencil, a brush that you just cut out from black overlaid on top of a gradient, and that's all this fucker did! Ah, It's like, and then Valve saw this and was like, oh yeah, this is totally fine. Totally acceptable for a skin in TF2. Like, what the fuck, man? Jesus, and the, it's, uh, so, okay, so it's not a seam, mind you, it's not a seam. It's the same texture repeated twice. It's a four texture war paint, but with only two textures. Abysmal. Oh boy, I got a box. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, I'm going to read this out loud. We're going to have a, uh, a sensual reading of the, uh, of the uh, something special for someone special that just went out. Join me along for this ride. A sm oh, fucking god damn it. It went away. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go to the Twitter. I gotta go to the Twitter. I have to read it. It's so funny. Is, is this Twitter account dead? Where is it? Fuck, I wanted to read it. Where did it go? It's like it's already over. Like it's already not fun. It's already not funny anymore. Yep, too late. It's it's already not funny anymore. It, it was it was like a fun, it was like a funny furry thing. Oh well. TF someone special. That's it. Thank you. TF one someone special. Please just take me take me to the fucking Twitter account. It should not be this hard. There it is. All right, here we go. We have a sensual reading. We have a sensual reading of the latest something special for someone special. A small, submissive protogen has accepted a big daddy protogen's big, throbbing meat. Congratulations. Oh, Christ. 100 bucks! Someone paid a hundred bucks for that. Congratulations. You're married now. Oh, Christ. I'm very sorry. I do sincerely apologize. Uh, okay. So that's, that's the winter 2020 collection. I mean that obviously. Uh, okay, Scream Fortress 12. Scream Fortress 12. This one is mostly shit, unfortunately. So, what do we have here? We have... Okay. Candy-coated. It's just like a really mediocre geometric pattern that is just really not all that appealing. It's not the worst, but it's, it's again, it's like D. It's, it's like a... It's E, maybe? Nah, like D. I mean, you can you can make a few arguments for this one where it's like okay at least it's different at least it's not like a sticker pattern. Uh, okay, and then we have crawl space critters. The problem with this one is like the texture work on this is fucking immaculate. It looks really good. Like the artistic prowess exhibited in this war paint is top notch, but it just 
does not look like something that belongs in TF2, right? It just doesn't really work. It's not the worst thing, but it's it's another one that's just like in D tier that just it's like lower D tier, like that, like down here. It's just not 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 great. It's not terrible. It's well made, but it just doesn't belong in the game, in my opinion. And then we have Death Deluxe for us Guns and Roses fans. This one is okay. I mean, it's the artwork is amateurish. The skull isn't that well done. The theming of it is fine. It kind of ties into TF2 okay. The color work is all right, but the the artwork is very amateur. I it, it's it's very surface level. It could have been polished out a little bit more. Like if this concept was handled by someone else who had more artistic ability, I feel like this one would have shown through a lot more and would have been a better skin overall, but it's just lacking in the quality department. It's it's like a can I dare say it's like a low C tier. I would put it in low C tier because it's it's not nearly as bad as many of these, but I'll I'll put it in low C tier. No, yeah. Be very afraid about adding a troll item to the workshop because Valve could very well just say, oh yeah, we'll add that now. Like for instance, right? Like Death Deluxe is infinitely better than Eye Stalker. This one is just a busy hot mess. It's like, why? Like, I, I get it, like, little flower shop of horrors, but this is just something that really doesn't belong in TF2. It's busy, it's ugly, it's just, it's unappealing at all fronts, and, and I honestly can't even make an argument for this one. I'm gonna put this in, like, E. Like, the only, like, decent qualities this one has is, like, the brown and the dark green. It's just, it's ugly. It's just not very good. And then Gordy Greed, what the fuck? This is just vomit. This is just vomit with a bunch of pumpkin stickers slathered all over it. With the same texture, just scaled down. It's so bad. It's so ugly. Why the fuck would Valve think this is okay? Like, I understand, right? I understand that Valve needs to add, like, less appealing skins in the lower tiers to, like, incentivize people to unbox and get the quote-unquote better skins. But you can still pick better shit. Like... Why? This... Th Ugh. God, man. Okay, and then we have Hell Driver, alright? Hell Driver is really fucking cool. Like, the texture work is awesome. It looks sick and kick-ass. It's like an appropriate Halloween-themed skin, but God, the saturation on this is too much. It's too bright. Ugh! This is another one of those skins, like Jazzy, where... It's like, they, they almost get it. They almost get it into the style of the game. Yeah, like, if it wasn't green, it would be so much better. Like, if it was orange, like, could you imagine if this was, like, an orange, like, a, like a fiery orange, kind of similar to Fire Glazed? Man, that would be really fucking cool. But it's just, it's too saturated. It, it sticks out like a fucking sore thumb and just does not mesh with the game. I gotta, I gotta put it in D tier, man. I gotta put it down here. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. Like, I still like it, I will admit. It does look really fucking cool. It looks sick, but not as a TF2 skin. It looks sick, I will acknowledge it looks good, but not as a TF2 skin. I will reiterate that again. Looks good, not as a TF2 skin. And then Mummified Mimic, I don't even know what the fuck they were thinking with this one. It's just another fairly generic, bland, Halloween-themed skin because they made it for the sake of it being Halloween themed, rather than making a skin for the sake of it being a TF2 skin. It's it's complete shit, and I really don't see any way you could defend this one. So it's it's like down here. It's just really ugh. Organically hell raised, at least you can make an argument for. Like when it comes to the colors of fire, the colors on this one are marginally better than fire glazed, right? Like if the level of saturation was on the tier. Like, if the level of saturation on Fire Glazed was on the tier of um, of Organically Hell Raised, then this would be like an S-tier skin, right? The only reason why I cannot put this in A-tier is the hideous green. The hideous green flames look so bad. If they were, like, blue flame, that would be way fucking cooler. But the green fire on this one looks so, so bad. And I got to put it in B. 
Like it's it's around it's around here, kind of like in this territory, right? Kind of like I I I really cannot say it's better than these, but I'll put it I'll put it in here. It is B. It is B. But the green flame is just not. Oh, it's not good. Like it's look. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean, man. Just ah, like could you imagine if this was blue? It would be so good. But it's like, it's not even like Scorching Flames because this is like sh baby shit green. Like, oh, it falls flat. It just, it falls flat. Like the, like, like the red, the red variant looks fucking awesome. This looks sick. But the fucking green flames look so bad. And I don't like the random skull and bones elements on this. It, they're completely unnecessary. The random stickers are not needed. The skull is fine, but the hand is kind of weird and out of place. But, um... Yeah, the green the green flame is just it just it really really hurts the skin. Uh portal plastered, all right? Portal plastered is one of the few purple skins that gets it mostly okay. I'm going to put this one at like upper C tier. Actually, no, I'll put it like low low D low B tier only for the fact that it succeeds in making purple look pretty good, right? It's not super saturated, not super in your face. The texture is simple enough. It's not a super busy skin. It's just okay. I lied. I can't put it above Small Town Bring Down. I'm sorry. It's got to be here. It's got to be in the territory of Dovetailed and 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 Banana Peeled. I got to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not. I got I got to do it. Portal plastered. Like it's not terrible. It it teeters. It teeters on being too saturated, but it's not. It's it's not a bad skin. I can't say it's a bad skin. It's I, as they say. It's I. Yeah, it's it's fine. Mid mid C tier. By default, because pumpkin pied uses traced clip art off of Google, it goes in the worst tier. It's down here. Trace clip art off Google is an immediate disqualified. Simply does not belong in the game. It's not original artwork. It's stolen artwork off of Google. And it somehow got in the game, and it's still in the game. Like, the, the the artwork that this one was traced off of has the addendum that it cannot be sold and put in video games. But it's like, even if you were, even if you legally purchased the clip art, by re requirements of the, of the, like, the legalities are tied to purchasing the artwork, it cannot be resold as a video game asset. And yet, here it is. Stolen artwork off of Google, traced, is officially in Team Fortress 2. Because that's what the standard should be, apparently. Like, what the fuck, man? Ugh. A automatic disqualified. <sighs> so, Raving Dead handles the black and green a little bit better than Hell Driver does. It's still a little bit too gaudy and too saturated, but I'll rate it a little bit higher because it's not as saturated as hell driver like the texture work is actually I'll, I'll swap the positions of these the texture work is cooler on hell driver and is pretty appropriate for the game but raving dead's colors are a little bit better but it's so busy and messy that's my thing like you gotta you gotta fucking i already forgot what it was called raving dead jesus raving dead raving dead raving dead it's just, it's so busy. And like the noise filter they put on this, actually, no, I got to put it a bit lower. Like the noise filter on this is, is too much. It's too busy. Like if this was a solid color and they just had the ribs, boom, immediately better. But then this, this busy kind of like movie theater carpet texture is it's too much. It's yeah, it's, it's way too intense on the eyes. Like I'll put it at the bottom. I'll put it like at the top of E because you can still make an argument for it being okay. But it's, it just, it doesn't belong, man. It doesn't belong in the game. It really doesn't. Make some room here. Put you there. And then again, like, Spectrum Splattered, it looks really fucking cool. The texture work is awesome. It, it It's a kick-ass skin. But the saturation, the colors, just make it inappropriate for the game, man. It, it's an amazing-looking skin, but not for TF2, man. Like, this would be a kick-ass CSGO skin. Could, like, could you imagine this texture on, like, an AK? Or, like, uh, I don't know. 
like an like like on an M4 A4. Oh, dude, like an M4 A4 with this texture as like a covert. Whoa, that would be sick. Or like an op, dude. Oh my god, that would be kick ass, man. But just it's just not appropriate for TF2, man. I can't, I can't, can't, I can't, I can't do more. I cannot do more than a fucking D. Just like Hell Driver, can't do more than a D. M4 A1S, yeah. The star of the stream, I was really excited, and now I'm just sad. Like, but now it's like the re like um, one of the reasons again that I kind of wanted to do this war paint tier list is to like remind people of like where war paints used to be, right? And then look how much more they've fallen. Like, look how far in quality these war paints have tanked because Valve just doesn't give a shit, man. It's like I just ah. Uh. Actually, yeah, I'll, I will say. I'll bump these both to C, because their texture work looks cool, but their colors are just not appropriate for TF2. I can't say they're bad, because they're still cool skins. But just not for this game. Just not for this game, right? And again, I'm going through all this again, because I think it's important to keep reminding people that, like, you gotta just, gotta keep on top of asking for stuff of quality, right? Yeah, it's like, you bring up a good point. It's crazy how many of these war paints my mind has blocked out. I think to myself, oh, they're not that bad. But then when you look at them, oh, fuck. Oh, my fuck, dude. Why? Like, again, I've made this argument in, like, a bunch of other videos. Like, could you imagine if they added something like this to CSGO? Or if they added something like this to CSGO? Or if they added something like this to CSGO? Could you fucking imagine? What? Like, like, if people playing TF2 can, like, acknowledge that these are terrible, could you imagine any other game these being slapped into? Holy fuck, dude. Ugh. Yeah, Sweet Tooth is, like, why? It's so ugly and so busy. Just It doesn't have a business... It's, there's no business being... It has no business being a skin in any game. Spider's Cluster is just a hideous amateur war paint, and then this one uses artwork that doesn't even look like it belongs in TF2. Like, if you're going to use a black and white skin, Kill Cover does it a million times better. The spider webs and the spiders on this one just make it absolute shit. Terrible. Terrible skins. Period. Yeah, they would also look awful in CSGO. And again, could you, like, imagine the outcry? Ugh. Ugh. But no, it's acceptable that these are being put in game, and God forbid you complain about them. God forbid you call them for what they are. Bad skins. Bad additions. God forbid you do that in some capacity. God, God forbid you scold the people who made them for not paying attention to the game they're making items for. God forbid you condemn Val for adding this crap. No, if you do that, apparently you're a harassing bigot. Like, ugh. I just want better shit! All right, that's Scream Fortress 12. On to Scream Fortress 13. And it just doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. Huh. Broken Bones is a hot clusterfuck. It is a hot shit fucking mess. You know what's funny about Broken Bones? I was in the same room as the creator inside of a Discord. And he was talking about how he made this war paint over the course of like, like an hour in the afternoon just so he can squirt something out in time for the update. And guess what? It got in. It's not even team colored. It's like, this is always blue. It's this nasty, busy, hot shit mess. It's just trash. And it's another one of those war paints that, in my opinion, is just completely indefensible. Doesn't belong in the game. And then, at the opposite end of the spectrum, we have fucking Kiln and Conquer. This one is awesome. This one makes up for the mistakes of both Neo Tokyo and Uranium, where the tile pattern is orientation locked, and it looks really fucking good. Like, this is another one of those war paints like Sakura and Stripe that when we got it, it was such a breath of fresh air to get something like this. Like, oh my god, like, thank god, thank god they added this one, man. Like, this one, like, like it, it, it kept me hanging on for, like, a little bit of hope. Maybe Valve has some competence that they can add something decent, right? This is one of them. It looks really fucking good. And like even with higher wares, it like look like, look at that. Even with high wear, it retains everything about it, but it looks more beat up. 
it looks so good. And yeah, this is a blue tier, right? And I gotta, I gotta put it like up here, man. This like, like Saccharin Striped, it was like an A tier, like a breath of fresh air. Thank fuck we got this one, man. Ugh. Okay, and then we have Misfortunate. What's really cool about Misfortunate is like, it doesn't look that amazing, but there's so much eye to detail inside of this one that it still screams TF2 skin, right? It's referencing Carnival of Carnage. It has, like, all of its textures look like something that's straight out of TF2. Like, I would say this is, like, the most thematically Halloween-appropriate skin that has been added to TF2 to date. Like, if we're gonna get Halloween skins, make it, like, tie into the game more, right? And this one is, like, peak Halloween skin. Because, again, the most thematically appropriate, the most eye to TF2 stylization was put into this one. But even then, it's still just, as the kids say, mid, right? I, I'll put it in C tier. It's not bad. It's not amazing. But it's at least, like, it, like, it at least achieves those standards of, like, yeah, this is good quality texture work. This is well done and well made, right? No, I gotta put it in low B. I can't I can't put it in the same tier as fucking Helldriver. I gotta put it, it's like low B. Like they they met those standards, right? They met those standards and produced something that looks okay. You know? Yeah. Necromanced also kind of falls into that category because it's like playing off the Bombonomicon, but the major detracting factor on this one is like the rune texture is too busy. It just doesn't, it's a little bit mottled and messy. I feel like they could have thickened the lines more, scaled it up and simplified it, but it just, it falls flat with this, this rune texture. And I've, I've said this multiple times, man, just, ugh, just, I just, I can't, I can't put it above C, man. It's, it's like, it's, it's down here. It's another one of those skins that's like, you know, thematically appropriate. That's thematically appropriate for TF2, but it just, it's just not amazing by any means, you know? And yeah, it's a great template for other war paints for sure. And then they added this garbage. Just neon neon Halloween bosses, guys. Yeah, and candy and a ghost and a pumpkin. Wow, Halloween. Like what what the fuck, man? This, this and the and the creator like okay, so the creator of this one, his name is Spectral. He almost takes delight in making garbage for TF2. Like like people point out how shitty his, how shitty his skins are. And then he just laughs and keeps making them. Because these fuckers don't care. They don't care about the game. They laugh all the way to the bank. This guy made like $16,000 off of this one fucking skin. Right? Or not, not quite that high. But probably like low, high, high four figure, low five figure amount off this skin alone. Just because it got in the case. And this fucker doesn't care. The people who make this shit don't care about the game. They laugh in the face of people who dare ask for higher quality stuff. No, they just squirt it out anyway. And then Valve adds it. It's like, fuck. Ugh. Same for this one, too. Another hyper-saturated color bomb mess that has no business being in this game. It looks fucking awful. Like, look at this. Look at Party Phantoms. Look at how fucking saturated this is. Look at that. Mo look how, like, this black looks like an untextured weapon model. What the fuck were they thinking adding this one? Like, look at it on the minigun. Look at that! It looks like a fucking untextured weapon model! And then with the higher wear? Oh, dude, it looks so bad. Huh. And then instead of using blue, they use purple and green for some reason. Jesus Christ, it is... Like, this, this war paint is a fucking travesty. It's busy, it's overly saturated, it's just... Terrible. Terrible. Another completely indefensible addition to this game. Awful. And then we got something like Poltergeist, man. Poltergeist, like, it's it's a really cool skin. It's well made. The texture work is awesome. But it's just not really appropriate for TF2. I feel like if they were to simplify the main texture... Like, like this is what Helldriver could have been, right? In terms of the colors. Like, if Helldriver adopted these colors... Now we're cooking with gas here. But, like, the colors on this one and the texture work on this one are both good... But the saturation on this one is just, like, a little too much. But even when you put it in TF2, it doesn't look bad. Like, it's not terrible. Like, you got, like, the, the bone texture, right? Like, it's not, it's not the worst. 
but it's it's just almost inappropriate for the game, and I gotta put it in like B, like around here, kind of like jazzy territory, right? Thematically inappropriate, but it's like it just it it gets just enough over that line where like okay, it works it works enough for the game, right? It works enough, and I like it too. Like I like this one just fine as well. I have it for ignore the Fempyro, but I have it on um, where are you? Where's my fucking? Oh shit! Come on, give me my poltergeist. There we go. See, like it looks good for it looks good for, looks good for this pyro incident. Oh no! Look, there's boobs. Ooh, titties on pyro. <gasps> Where's my pearls? Well, my pearls are gone. Oh no! I can't I can't clutch them hard enough. Oh dear. Oh oh just, oh just I got I got to fucking I gotta lie down. Oh just whoo just look whoo. Oh, God, God forbid, God forbid the vampire model, man. Oh, just gotta, gotta fucking chill out. Oh, Lordy. I like big tits. Relax. But yeah, Poltergeist is pretty good. Not amazing. So. Here's the thing about hats and war paints, right? Mr. Camerahead. Those are official editions in Team Fortress 2 that are marketed to everybody as products for the game. They are in the game. You have to see them. They're always there. They are what is being sold in the game. Mods, like the Fempyro mod, or changing your player models to be like the horses from the horse show, right? Only you see that. No one else has to see that, right? They're not official additions to the game. You're not subjecting people to all this stuff that is always and forever there, right? And the difference between, say, like a hat and like a decal is a decal you see it once and it's done. Right, you leave the server, you're probably never going to see that fucking decal ever again. You're never going to come across that player ever again, right? But a hat, or a skin, or a war paint, these are products being sold by Valve as official additions to the game that are always there. Permanent additions that will never go away. That's the difference, right? And like, yeah, you're free to dislike Vampiro. I don't care. You can call it gross and disgusting all you want. You can call it Coomer behavior. I don't give a fuck. I like it. I'm going to keep it in my game. Oh, no. Because I like looking at it. Whatever. Anyways, back to shit war paints. Oh, fucking poison. Potent poison. Fucking. Ah, it's it's just so shit. Like, this, it, it's just over the edge in terms of the level of saturation. It looks really bad. You have the random bubbles, which look like hot shit, and the little green one. Wow, wacky rare sticker, guys. And then it's it's honestly just another insufferably bad war paint that just does not belong in the game. It's like, I, I can't even, like, think of an argument you can make for keeping this one, man. It's just, it's just shit. It's just shit. And then we got Sarsaparilla Sprayed. What's cool about this one is, yeah, it's another, like, wacky, random sticker pattern, but what's cool about these, it's like, it's the mercenaries' faces, and also Miss Pauling, and also, I think, the announcers in here, and it's all, like, cool and hand-drawn. Like, if you go to the workshop page for this one, this guy posts a picture of himself, like, drawing all of the mercenaries' faces, and yeah, it's cool artwork, it's well done, but it's not really appropriate for a skin. It's like, I can acknowledge that the artwork is nice and it looks good, but it's just not something that belongs on a TF2 weapon model, right? It's like someone took a piece of fan art and then put it on a weapon and then called it a skin. It doesn't really work, right? And like the creator of this one kind of took the previously established precedent of, oh, we have these other wacky random sticker war paints that have been accepted into the game. Therefore, I can do something like this and it's acceptable. And it looks bad because those texture patterns just don't really work well for weapon models, right? The color work is great. The artwork is phenomenal. It's just not appropriate for a TF2 skin. And that's that's why this one's, like, not nearly as popular as many think it should be for the fact it's of quality artwork. But it just, it's not, it's not a, like, I, like, I just, no. Like, like, D, right? It's not, it's not appropriate for the game. But it's well made, if that makes sense, right? It's like, it's like, it's like well-made fan art. And then we have fucking Searing Souls and Skullcracked, which, guess what, also use a piece of traced clip art off of fucking Google. Guy literally Googled Skull PNG, 
downloaded it, slapped it onto existing textures that we have in the game, and called it a day. And Valve accepted both of them. Both of them. This guy probably got 25... Okay, so this guy is the only creator on both of these war paints. Easily made probably 25 grand from these war paints being put in the game. By just downloading something off of Google, putting it on existing textures, and then calling it a day. 25 grand! That's more than, like, a teacher earns in a year. Can you fucking believe that? It's almost insulting. Like, what the fuck, Valve? Seriously. Don't, don't do shit like this. It's, it's fucking, it's fucking pathetic to make this, and it's even more pathetic to accept it into the game as an official product. Like, like, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? And we got Swashbuckled. Like, I, I gotta, I gotta put it in A. Swashbuckled is really fucking good. The only reason why Swashbuckled is not in S tier is the fucking barnacles on it. The barnacles on Swashbuckled, man, they piss me off, dude. They're this nasty, slight embellishment that is completely unnecessary. Like, like, put, put, like, look at your screen right now. Put your finger on top of the little green barnacles that are there. Look how much better that looks. Just that little blemish that has... Just no, there's no need for it. It's completely unnecessary. Doesn't need it at all. Like, just, just cover that. Just, just cover that with your finger. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, it's so much better. It's why I have it for my fucking... You know. Like, look at that. Like, there's only this tiny little barnacle here that I don't see because Demo Man's hand is covering it. Otherwise, it's, it's such a... Just, it's a sleek, really good skin. That little barnacle is not needed, but it's still like an A-tier skin. It's really fucking good. Really nice texture work. Looks good on almost every weapon model. A phenomenal skin. Period. Just, yeah, just really, really nice textures. It's like, it's like it doesn't get better. It doesn't, it doesn't get better. I, I'm sorry. It, it just doesn't improve. Now we come to Scream Fortress 14. We've come to Scream Fortress 14. The final collection to go through. Got, got Bonzo Nod. Like, what, what the fuck? Like, thank God. Thank God this war paint exists. Because this is just trade-up fodder for Sacred Slayer. That's the only reason why this war paint exists. So it could be a cheap trade-up filler so we can get Sacred Slayer. It is pure cancer. Looking at this is giving me cataracts. It is disgustingly busy. Awful texture work. Horrific color palettes. Not even Trader Mains like this one. It's disgusting. It is the worst, one of the worst war paints ever added to this game. Hands down. Again, it's like down here. And what the fuck was Valve thinking adding this to the game? It is awful. Awful. <sighs> Chili Autumn is like another gridded, like sticker pattern war paint. It's fairly inoffensive. But why isn't there a team variant? Why is it always red? If we had a blue variant of this, this would be like immediately acceptable in like a low C tier, right? But now that it's just red, always. Like, why? Why? It's like I can't, I cannot rate it higher than a D tier, right? It's like, it's like down here, like here. It's again inoffensive, like many of these other skins, but it's just not. It, it lacks so much to make it more than appropriate. If it had a blue variant, and I said this in the video reviewing those war paints, it would be so much better, but it just doesn't belong. And then creamed corn, right? Creamed corn is decent. Like this this is another one where it's just good. It's like a it's like a nice breath of fresh air. It's not gaudy, it's not in your face. It's like it's just okay, right? Like it's like finally a piece of fucking white bread, finally like a piece of fucking food. It's just okay. Like I I can I can get it down. It looks pretty good on a variety of weapon models. It kind of has like that psychedelic look to it. Reminiscent of the 70s a little bit. The colors mesh into the palette reasonably well enough. It also also what this war paint doesn't show is that um it utilizes like the default gray. So that helps balance it out a little bit more. Like, you get these nice blotches of red. Like, I think the minigun is another one that, like, exemplifies this one quite well. Like, that looks quite good. Like, you have some of the default textures on the minigun that are still there. Like, that really helps balance one balance this one out a lot. It's just good. It's just good. It's not terrible at all. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm going to put this in B tier. I have to put it in B tier. Like, kind of like middle of the road B tier. 
I will say that. It's kind of, it's better than, you know, a good chunk of these. I will say. Crucify me if you want, but cream corn looks pretty good. Okay. Ghoul Blaster. This is kind of what a rare skin should be if you're going to incorporate the nice hypersaturated color, right? This one has the custom wear where it reveals like the, the, the eerie lime green and it looks really fucking cool. It's just, it's a really cool skin. You know, it, it's, it's, you know, it's like a knockoff hazard warning, but the custom wear on this one, it's themed after Ghostbusters, but they bring it into the stylization of TF2. You got like the Ghostbusters style sticker, but it's, you know, the ghost with the gibbous. It's just, it's just nice. When it comes to thematically themed Halloween skins for TF2, it's on par with something like Misfortunate, but this one just looks better than Misfortunate. It looks really cool. I can't, listen, I cannot give it an A tier. I'll show you what it's, it, it teeters, it teeters on being an A tier, but there's one glaring flaw with Ghoul Blaster, all right? There's one glaring flaw and it's what happens when it's battle scarred. It is so fucking green, dude. Like even well worn isn't that bad. But for some reason, when you go to battle scarred, it has like that extra layer of green hue layered on top of it. It's just a little too much. Like, don't get me wrong, still looks really fucking cool. Not nearly as you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting it in A. I don't care. Fuck you. A. It's it's like it's it's in this territory, right? It still looks cool, but it's like it's not. It's not this, right? It's not... It's not fucking this, man. Ugh. Like, compare it to this, right? These are both assassin grade. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Sorry, it's A. Putting it in A tier. At the opposite end of the spectrum, when it comes to war paints, here is another instance of someone's First ever war paint that they made for TF2. And Valve said, yeah, sure, we'll take that. We'll put that in game for you. Like, just from a quality standard thing alone, what the fuck? Like, at least for Health and Hell, the colors are reasonably acceptable. But Valve had to go in and they did a color swap of the blue texture to make a red variant. And they made it look like tomato soup. It's too saturated. If it was, like, lighter in color, more akin to the blue, it'd be way better, right? And then you have this green one. What the fuck, man? I can color key this out and put my face on it. Just, this one is another one of, what the fuck was Valve thinking? Like, down here territory. And this one I can at least put in, like, upper, like, like mid... E, because you can at least make an argument for this one where it's like, okay, even though the texture work is terrible and horrifically amateurish, the colors are at least passable to an extent. But beyond that, it's just... Uh, uh, yeah. And then, like, Hypergon. I, I, like, I know a lot of people like this one, but it's just... Why? It's just two solid colors and then a hexagon pattern that I can make in 30 seconds. I did that for my video, too. I can squirt this war paint out in 30 seconds. Done. Like, in the midst of everything else Valve could have added, they put this in the game. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? It's just, just, oh my god. No. 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 It's, it's, like, I can, I can't, no, I can't even put it that high in D tier. It's, it's, like, low D tier. No, not even that. E. I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot rate it that high. I, I refuse to do so. It's it's down here. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Hypergon is fine as a skin. Maybe for a different game. Certainly not for TF2. You know, the uh, Op Electric Hive for anybody, you know? Just, I don't... I don't like it. Metalized Soul is absolute garbage. Another another one of these war paints that has no business being in the game. It's It's down here. Can't even make an argument for it. It's so busy. The texture work. So I made the claim that metalized soul is more than likely an AI generated texture. And it probably is. If you go to the workshoppers page who made this one, a lot of his more recent editions are made in AI. It's painfully obvious. And if you look at this one, what they did for metalized soul is what they did 
is they likely generated several textures using AI and then they just cut out random shapes and then layered on top of it to make this texture. And the result is just this really busy, ugly texture. And the texture work isn't even reflective of TF2 stuff at all. Like the colors you can make an argument for, but the line work, the texture, like he literally cut the textures out, gave it a beveled edge and then layered it on top of each other. It's just a really ugly skin. It's just shit. Yeah, like the only appealing thing coming from this is the glow, but the rest of it is awful. It just, again, no business being in this game at all. It's just terrible, terrible skin. And then another one, Pumpkin Plastered. Yes, I love solid saturated orange and then red and purple and random pumpkin stickers. Th this one is like, if, if you know, if Macabre Web is femboy bait, this is like hyper, hyper femboy bait. And this is another example of a skin that just doesn't belong in the game. It's, it's absolute shit. It's shit. I'm sorry. Sacred Slayer. Sacred Slayer is easily one of the best war paints they've added ever to TF2. It's a fucking amazing skin. It's so good. It looks good on every weapon model, even with high, like every, every wear amount is amazing. Like it's, it's even, it's, it's, it's just simple too. It's just a simple skin, but my God, everything about this, like even higher wares looks so good on this. It looks like a gun. It looks, it looks like a gun, right? But it's just, it's different enough. It looks, it's just, oh, I cannot, I cannot praise this one. It's why, dude, it's why I have it on several weapons, dude. I got it on a winger. I have it on a tiny winger. I got it on a panic attack. Looks fucking awesome. This is field tested, by the way. Also field tested. Looks fucking awesome. Also field tested on my winger. It's just a really good skin. Factory new on a shortstop because I'm a fucking degenerate. Easily, easily one of the best skins they've ever added to this game. And that's not saying much, right? Because the texture work, the custom wear, all of this stuff really isn't that amazing, right? If you go on the workshop right now, there's a shitload of stuff that blows this out of the water that look way better. But when this skin and this skin and this skin kind of like define the higher standard for what war paints have been, oh my God. Like, like look, like, and I know this is my own like subjective list. I understand that, but like, Look at how disproportionate this is, right? Look at look at how much crap is in the lower tiers compared to the higher tiers, right? And again, this is my opinion on things. I understand that people can like what they like. I don't care. But this is a problem, right? This is a problem when something like Sacred Slayer, in the eyes of many players, that's why this war paint still goes for $500 in Strange Factory New, and then this Elite Grade Strange and this Elite Grade Strange go for like $60 in Strange Factory New, right? You can tell, based on desirability alone, that war paints like this are way more heavily preferred by a majority of the player base. But then we keep getting shit like this, right? Ugh. And the final war paint on our tier list is Sunriser. Sunriser is nice. It's got good color work. The amateur, the, the texture work is amateurish. I get that they were kind of going for like the corona around the sun. Falls flat a little bit. I think the texture work could be a lot better. I'm going to put this in B tier, honestly. It's, it's, it's certainly very good. It's orientation locked, which helps it a lot. It's really good. I like the colors on this one. It's a decent skin. Higher wears on this one don't look terrible. It's just good. It's just good, I will say. It was nice to see this one added, you know. You do, listen, I do I do say, like, you shouldn't add someone's first war paint. Amateur work is not appreciated. But when the amateur work is good enough, you do kind of need to, like, incentivize, like, hey, yeah, Valve, we at Valve still acknowledge these newer creators that are kind of, like, trying to break into it, you know? They're trying to break into it, trying to make something of themselves for, you know, making items for the game. And this guy, like, got just above that threshold where it's like, okay, yeah, this is all right. Only texture I don't like on this one is the, this lightning texture. I think this would have worked just fine as a solid. I don't think the wispy lines are very necessary. I think it would look a lot cleaner if they were gone. That's my major critique with this one. 
But beyond that, it's good. It's just a good skin. Plain and simple. Just a good skin. Oh, wait. I forgot a couple. I forgot a couple. I forgot the Saxton Secret Collection. Uh, Smith Smith Sweater. I mean, it's in the same territory as this one, like Snow Covered. I forget what this one's called. It's kind of down here. You know, it's like low sea territory. You know, it's like a, one of the more thematically appropriate winter-themed skins, what have you. It's okay. It's a shame you can't get this one in Strange. But it's it's not horrible by any means. And then we have Dragon Slayer. It's a fucking shame we don't get more war paints that use the Dragon Slayer base. The Dragon Slayer skins are fucking awesome. I'm putting it in A tier. Sorry. A tier. Yeah, it's 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 you know it's a free skin. It's free. Fuck it, we'll use it. But Dragon Slayer, awesome. It's a kick-ass skin. I love it so much. And I and it's cool that for a brief time you could get it bugged out in higher wares. Like, you know, like here's Factory New. It's got that shine. The texture work looks awesome. It's like a nice gold skin. Discount Australium for those interested. But then in Battle Scar, dude. Oh fuck yeah, dude. That's so fucking cool. I love this shit. I'm so glad I was able to pick these up in Battle Scar. They're really expensive to get. But, um... But, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. The higher wear Dragon Slayers were a bug. And they were only dropped for a couple of days. And then Valve fi and then Valve patched it. So there's a very low volume of higher wear Dragon Slayers in the game. And so you the only way you can get these is by just trading for them. Or buying them off the community market or something. And these are very expensive at this stage. Like, I got this one for 50 keys, and then I got this one for, like, also around 50 keys. So I got really good deals on both of these, but, um, a lot of traders kind of, like, hoarded them up and are selling them for, you know, near extortionate levels. But, yeah. So. Okay. We made it. We've made it. We've made it to the end of the tier list of war paints. It is done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end. This is our final product right here. This is the full list Okay, honestly, let's face it. Like, like Giga Chad tier and S tier are basically the same. All right, these two tiers are basically the same. So, like, we'll we'll put these all like here. I'll rate Sacred Slayer higher than Damascus, though. I will stand by that. But we're done. We've made it to the end, and I will still say I'll I'll reiterate this one more time. I wanted to go through this again because a lot of my opinions on Warpaints have changed. What I consider appropriate for TF2 has shifted significantly. You know, I used to kind of fawn over the very saturated, bright skins. But now, like, the more I've come to appreciate the stylization of TF2 and working towards kind of preserving that. Because, you know, like, a few years ago, like, skins like this weren't exactly the norm. They were still a rarity. But then when that's all you get for six years, it's like, okay, this is this is a problem. We, we got to go back to roots. We got to go back to stuff that's appropriate of higher quality. That's, you know, just that's just good for the game, right? But when you got, you know, this high of volume, again, in my opinion, of just unacceptable shit, something's wrong, right? Something's wrong. So that's all the war paints. On Friday, we're going to do the decorated war paints. And you're going to notice a huge shift in the volume of good shit compared to the volume of bad shit. If this curve is skewed down, as Cribs pointed out, the decorated weapon tier list is going to be skewed pretty pretty fucking high, all right? That's how that's going to go. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cut it off there. I'm going to end the recording. So if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You've made it to the end. Uh, eyes peeled for the decorated weapons tier list coming soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to shill myself at the end. I'm sorry. So wave, wave bye to YouTube, everybody. I'm going to end the, end the recording there.